The recognized symbol of excellence in online entertainment. This is G.I. Kyle. When I'm not taking shirtless selfies on Instagram and drinking White Claw while having hot sex with my wife Karen and making truck videos, I like to listen to the shows on VRS, Veteran Radio Syndicate, your home for the best quality veteran entertainment. Stone Vic, Stone Vic, Stone Vic, Stone Vic, Stone Vic, Stone Vic. The Stone, the Stone Vic, the Stone Vic, the Stone Vic, the Stone Vic, the Stone Vic. I hit the ground running when I'm invading your country It's still with honor and discipline Throw my guns like onyx Dressed in camo with ammo For every situation I handle They got us marching and stepping By my platoon, they get trampled If it ain't raining I haven't shot at all day. Let's see what Stebro's up to. Jesus. Oh, hey, Mitty, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. What you doing? Oh, you know, just looking at the reg manuals, you know. <laughs> man, it is just so fucking boring today. Boring. Yeah, I know. It's just, I've been shot at all day either, man. It's just been a weird day. Oh, you know what? The bro, the fucking bar comes out in a few minutes. Wait, the bar? Yeah, the bar. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The bar from VRS. The, the, that, that same bar, yeah? The bar from VRS. Holy shit. That's better than jacking, I mean, looking at reg manuals. God. And live from VRS, it's the bar! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, welcome to another edition of the bar right here on the Vet Radio Syndicate. I'm your host, John Kermian, a.k.a. Mini. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. 2311 was my MOS. I yo ace, my car care member at the U4 Mafia, allegedly. And an OG of the Vet Radio Syndicate. So what do we got on store for you tonight? Uh, if you're new, the bar is basically... Anywhere for three to five veterans getting together every Saturday night, having some drinks, uh, laughing at some memes. Uh, really, I do a Congressional Medal of Honor citation. Every, I read one of those every week. Uh, we cover some news and politics. We do silly games. Last couple of weeks, I don't know if we're going to do any tonight. Uh, definitely could probably pull up a pub quiz, but I don't know if I have time to whip together on like a movie quote one uh but i don't know if these boys all get in here and help me out i could probably do it pretty fast uh but yeah we're just gonna have some fun uh we're not gonna solve any of the world's problems we're gonna talk a lot of, about a lot of them but uh yeah they're not nothing's getting solved tonight uh really i mean there may be suggestions but none of us have any power uh i can't fix the mold in uh just about every army barracks i've seen online lately so but uh, we'll talk about it what's going on craig murphy how you doing brother Thanks for checking in. I appreciate it. I always share the show. Give us some more love. Uh, we need it. Uh, that's a long story, but man, this show was fucking banging. And then somebody uh, who smells like Uzu throws plates and thinks Windex cures everything, i.e. my boss, put up a, a thing that really pissed off Facebook. Bad. So we've been at the bottom of the list for a while now. And we're just trying to climb our way up. Uh, good, good. Glad, glad you're good, man. Glad you tuned in. Hope you have some fun. Um, I'm in a really weird, weird mood, which means if people do show up, uh, it might end up being an awesome show, but uh, I'm gonna get really hammered because I just don't feel right in the head. Uh, woke up this morning, drank a little bit last night, played um, one of my best Marine Corps friends. Uh, he's a Vietnam vet, played darts with him, uh, at the at our American Legion post and got, uh, as long as, uh, some things don't interfere. I'm, I'm playing a dart league again, which I haven't done since COVID. So, uh, yeah, that might be fun. But I got a little drunky, drunky poo. Uh, I made a drunk cheesecake last night. It was pretty awesome, actually. Um, <laughs> so everybody loved it today for the, the birthday party that I had to uh, to be a part of. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just get on with it. Shotskis. I already calling for Shotskis. I'm trying to remember who's uh, 
alternate account this is. I got kind of have a guess, but I, I didn't think he got suspended. So, like, yeah, some of my other fans have like multiple accounts because they constantly get banned by Facebook for fucking memes and shit from like two years ago. Not like something they put up today, usually. Um, all right, man. Uh, here, Jotskis for bringing everybody on. Uh, yeah, love you, Shots. Prost. All righty. <sighs> yeah, first one always hits hard. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, that was the first shot I've had today. All right. My next guest is also my co host on Sports Church. You can catch it tomorrow night right here on the Vet Radio Syndicate in 1900 Eastern Standard Time. He's a United States Naval veteran, a fleet, uh, <coughs> excuse me, words and stuff, fleet Marine Force a corpsman, and hence the name Devil Doc. He's a recently married man, that dumb bastard. He's still one of my best friends, though. Love him to death. Please welcome to the bar, Devil Doc. Cow! What's up, Buckface? Nothing much, dude. Yeah, what's the word? How's the week uh, been? Uh, good. Um, she's laying low. She's in hiding. She she's she's she trying. She's trying to not um, uh, jinx it right now because it's one one. Uh, she's still pissed off from last night. <laughs> no, I kind of figured it was you. I wasn't sure, brother, but uh, yeah. Uh, I kind of, I don't know if I've seen that one lately though. You might pull that one out from like, uh, like the bottom of the drawer and be like, what, which, which, like the spook that you are, uh, on Facebook, you know, he's got multiple. Uh, I thought that was Dean's backup, backup to a backup to a backup. Uh, apparently it's the backup to that backup, but <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Great versus what's up, Jarhead? Semper Fi, Semper Fi, brother. Dang, uh, hell yeah, man. Glad to have another Jarhead in here. Um, hell yeah. So, what's new? What's happened, baby? Even though you know, Grumpy Gus is over there hiding and shit. Um, yeah, not much. Uh, it. the oldest is at homecoming right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I was having some weird feelings the other day. Uh, <laughs> so we went to one of the schools that. Uh, Shut up. If I don't miracle my ass uh, back up to, to Columbus again, uh, one of the schools that James and I are looking to send him to is, well, first it'd be Guardian Angel. That's a great school, right? Um, it's Catholic, and uh, but the high school is uh, McNick, and so we went to their homecoming. And I got to say, I was a little proud of myself, but I was still kind of like, dude, really? Because there were some hotties there, but there were 16, 17, 18-year-old hotties. And I'm like, ah, yeah, I remember they looked like that back then, too. And that's great. But I wish he just wouldn't walk right in front of me and my wife because I got to turn my head because I'm going to look at that booty. I'm going to. <laughs> I just can't help it. I can't stop myself. The worst is in church, man. Because I would bartend on Saturday nights. I'd go to church, St. Anne's in Chicago. Um, actually, Lansing, which is kind of a, a suburb-ish of Chicago. Uh, on the south side. And southeast. Yep. And uh, I would be probably still pretty hammered when I went rolled into church. Which, being Catholic, that's not really that big of a deal, right? Um and uh, it would just never fail, especially in the summer. Just the girls just, just coming in in the, in the cougars with their kids coming in and dressing like, oh, why are you dressed at church like this? Like, seriously, all I'm thinking is horrible, dirty thoughts that I'm in church. And look, right there is a savior and representation. I mean, if he was actually there, that'd be insane. But yeah. <laughs> Oh God, I feel so bad. Like, stop it. Stop doing this to me. Like, shouldn't be fucking rocking full wood in church but I, there was many days i was because i get pretty i get pretty fucking horny when i'm hung over i don't know what it is <laughs> some kind of weird thing about me oh uh, oh chris is in mourning oh i know i know man i know i just holy shit dude hey look i picked those dudes i didn't did i pick them to go to world series uh yeah you you picked them the first week of sports first, church first first yeah week of baseball yeah yeah, I knew we should have reevaluated that, but uh, yeah, 
It is what it is. Hey, at least his team made the damn playoffs. My team tanked after fucking All Star game. I know, right? There's definitely some fuckery going on in the forest. Being having fucked up streams lately. I never had. Uh, I had Miriam. <laughs> Minnie was wearing his aviators. <laughs> Me too. I, I didn't know them forever. Yeah, uh, Chris calls for shots because you know, dude. Normally I'd be like, hold on for a minute, but uh, yeah, like. I feel, I feel for you, brother. I feel for you, man. Maybe I jinxed them. I don't know, man. I thought they were going to hot shit. thought they were going to do it, but uh, not so much. Those Guardians, man. Whew. Hey, who would have thought SpongeBob could, you know, pull out a demon in somebody? I know, right? So the Chris and his pain as the uh, his beloved Toronto Blue Jays went down again. God, could they win anything in Toronto? <laughs> Not since Joe Carter. Joe Carter, baby. Mm. How do you win that? He hit that off of Mitch Williams, was it? Yeah, the Mitch the Wild thing. Wild thing. Uh, Craig says, go to the bathroom and wake one out. In church? Dude, that's even worse. <laughs> they flushing the kids down the pool. <laughs> the Pope is going to be very upset. After he gets through his files of, you know, it's better than having a priest do it, <laughs> right? Uh, how do you not know how to bunt and you're a professional baseball player? Because they don't do it, they don't teach it. You just left the house of the Lord. Yeah, now I'm in my house, 24 beer and counting. Fuck my life. Hell yeah, man. I feel you. No, a lot of people say that, and, and my answer to it is always the same they do not emphasize it through the levels um like they should because you know it's it, baseball does this all the time you you see trends you know remember in the 80s the 70s, everybody bunted uh yeah early 90s everything was small ball especially especially the national league yeah stealing like crazy bunts sacrifices safety squeezes straight out fucking straight up squeezes Real uh, baseball. Yeah. yeah. And um, then you started getting into home run, taking the game over again. Then the nerds got into it with um, Moneyball shit and analytics. And then they started, took it another further with um, uh, like, you know, determining launch angle, working on pitches with high speed cameras and learning how to change your grips and do this and do that and do that. And all of a sudden, then another thing happened. They, became, they fell in love with with power, with guys who could throw 100, right? It was, oh, that's crazy. Well, yeah, it's great, but if you don't know where it's going, how much good is it? You know, um, you know, I say it again all the time. Uh, Greg Maddox couldn't break a pane of glass with his fastball after he was like 21 years old. But, but he was going to throw a hit off of him. Pitch, complete game off of two pitches, basically two and a half. Basically, his two-seam fastball. Uh, get me over breaking ball and a change up every once in a while. And, and a killer curveball. Well, the, I don't know if it was killer, but it was decent. Uh, it wasn't like uh, Chris Kyle's uh, curveball, the guy who died in Chicago. He's a St. Louis pitcher. pitcher yeah. He's that guy had the nastiest right hand curveball the game's ever seen. Uh, 20 beer beers, accountant, fuck my life. I feel you, brother. Uh, my wife's still fucking at work. This is bullshit. <laughs> Well, rage on, my brother. Rage on. Um, still sharing the show out. What's going on here? No, you couldn't hit any. Couldn't hit any what? What was I talking about? Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to share a show. I don't have a producer, so I have to do all this shit myself. Look, granted, I haven't really done much work in uh, procuring said producer, but if I'm going to be down here for as long as I think I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to have to pick somebody up. And... I uh, might know somebody. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's right here. Uh, yeah, I guess she could produce and be part of the show, too. Yeah, then we don't have to hear her as much. Ooh. <laughs> don't even get a reaction, did I? She's, she's, in, she's, in, she's in legit hiding, like... You know that's not going to affect anything. You know that, right? You crazy bastard. Yeah. Oh, I know. 
<laughs> I knew I knew an old lady. She was so cute. Uh, <coughs> I was bartending in Cincinnati. Uh, she would leave the bar uh, during um, Xavier games, Xavier basketball games, because she couldn't. Um, she couldn't take it. She thought she was going to affect the game one way or another. Like, wow, really? Like, no, you're not. Stop it. It's crazy. Like, I'm a superstitious person, and I know I'm ridiculous. So let me tell you how ridiculous you are. You're ridiculous. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, man. So what you guys do this week? What kind of uh, – you guys are always road tripping and doing crazy shit. Oh, we, ha- we haven't gone anywhere this week. We stayed home. Stayed home. Well, that didn't help me at all. Um, um, she's got a uh, mega horn for you for when we come up so she can talk to you. Don't do that shit. Take that shit away from me. <laughs> Take that shit away from her. Yeah, that's no good, dude. I'm sorry, guys. The slow the show is starting out real slow. It's my fault. It's uh, all good. I didn't. Could, uh, could be worse. You could have started it, you know, at nine thirty. Yeah, honestly, probably should have. <laughs> Fucking way I'm going, dude. I had two birthday parties. I had no time to do anything. Oh, no good. Do any prep or fucking? Uh, I know some people are laughing. Prep, like, yeah, he actually, I do. Um, yeah. So it is what it is. It's going to be a slow start to show, but I, but I assure you, go back to the old ways. Wing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Like uh, we used to. Oh man. Uh, my wife still that was that. even that wasn't even that wing, dude. I usually had like five pages of shit written down to go to go to. I've got the uh, three things written down that I wrote down just before we started the show. So we're waiting on Tim. We're, we're always waiting. waiting on Tim. We're waiting on Blue. We're always waiting on Tim. This is true. We we are always waiting on Tim. So, yeah, somebody's got to get here so I can uh, get a cigarette, get my mind right. Uh, field time. What do you mean we don't do shots at the kid's birthday party? <laughs> hey, Minnie, if you want, mm-hmm. I'll keep them occupied. You go smoke a cigarette and take the dog out real quick. I'll wait for, I would have heard for uh, Tim to get here, but I'll do a shot ski for uh, Senior Flicker. Flicka, Flicka. I apologize, ma'am or sir. I don't want to, uh, you know, assume your pronouns. Uh, you you know if we're going by Ohio time, yeah, because he is an Ohio State fan. He'll yeah. probably be here at ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, right. Because I mean, it's so hard to spell Ohio. It, it is. It is, man. It is. Yeah, I know. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for joining in. New ones tuning in. Um, you know, hey, we appreciate it. You know, Craig's been in the, here. Look has been in the here. Five oh, worst um, fan bases. Yeah. In any sport. Yeah. The New York Yankees. Uh, yeah. The Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Ohio State fans. Okay. Uh-huh. They're everywhere. And they always have to spell Ohio. Yeah. O H I O. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've heard it. I've heard it. Um, and God, any any team in Philly? Pittsburgh Penguins fans. Okay. All right. Yeah. And oh. Bears and Chicago Bear fans. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Pook. Uh, you know, and I love my brother Bishop Pook Dog more than anything. He's been my best friend for over a quarter century. That's a long time. Uh, yeah. I've been in his wedding. He's been, I've been in two of his weddings. Sorry. <laughs> He's been in one of mine. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I love, I love my boy. I love my boy to death. But uh, Bears fans are pretty ridiculous. So for instance, uh, just working on getting a job at this biker bar. Uh, this isn't really a biker bar. All right, so some bikers owned it. A 
club owned it. Anybody familiar with uh, the Outlaws? Uh, yeah. And uh, I think eventually they did sell it to a couple um, who named it J.J. Kelly's because uh, they're both uh, horribly, horrible Irish uh, pricks. But uh, I was there one night and they had a great deal. It was uh, I think forty dollars, all you could drink domestic beer and a dinner for football all day. And I'm like, I'm gonna be the first to tell you this is a stupid fucking idea because hey, they're losing money. Even if the dinner, if you cost it out at like ten dollars, me and my boys can each drink just beer from one to the end of uh sunday night football a lot of beers a lot it's like 200 dollars worth of beer yeah i could easily drink that much like to put it in perspective i drank 31 beers in one day at rookie sports bar and grill you know the the beer line from one to the other Mm -hmm. just if you ever do that the trick is to start dark Dark to light. Dark to light. If you go light to dark, you're gonna fucking. You're, you're screwed. Gonna, yeah, you just your belly's just gonna fucking. T- <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we were there, and I'm having a raging time, and, and I'm sitting with four Bear fans. You know, it's Chicago, and there's multiple Bull, uh, Bears fans at this place, but there's one guy we called him Mongo, because he looked like Mongo. He was a fucking Mongo. Um. Mongo like are putting the whoop ass to the bears, and I'm wearing my cheese head, my Brett Favre jersey, and I'm I'm rolling. I'm having a great time with my boys. I'm giving them shit, and this guy keeps getting more and more pissed off at me. And finally, he says something like something what it was. I don't know something ridiculously stupid. And I'm like, hey, fat fuck. Because I'm well into the to, to the drunk phase of the day, right? Because I think the Packer game was the second game of the day, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it's wow, fuck you, little man. I'm gonna fuck you up. And I'm like, really? Okay, let's dance, fat boy. And my guys are like, oh god damn it. <laughs> Here he goes again. <laughs> and uh they put a stop to that. They grabbed me. And one of them went to the owner, and the other three guys, one of them was almost as big as Mongo, grabbed him. They're like, look, this is our boy. You can all see we're Bears fans. And we, he annoys us, but he has every right because if the Bears were winning, I was like, that never happens, you fucking losers. <laughs> and he's got him. He started running at me again. <laughs> he's like, look, you, if you want to fight him, you can go through all us. And by the time, even if you get through all us, you still got to fight that drunk mad ass Irish Marine right there. Do you want to do that? And I'm like, I'm game, baby. They're like, shut up. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> and he's like, no, I don't want to do that. So he goes to his corner. I go to my corner. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to go talk to that dude. I'm like, no, no. And I walked him up, put my, I slapped him on the back. I'm like, hey, bro, I ho- I'm, I apologize for upsetting you. I just love my Packers. There's as much as more if you love your Bears. Let's do some shots. Come back over and hang out with us. Because we're about to prank phone call the Chicago uh, Bears front office anyway. So you might want to watch this. He's like, yeah. Well, yeah, dude. Come on. It's all good, baby. Some of my best friends I've ever met. Or we've almost killed each other. Yep. So would you have killed me? I said, dude, I go. I walked down that walk down that road to the last mile, buddy. Like, I just, I would. I'm, I'm hammered. Uh, and I'm carrying this stupid thing because I can't carry a gun in Cook County yet. Yet I was working on it, and I did. I did get that ability. Very few people do, but you know when you trade, uh, uh, you trade uh, um, allegedly trade um, some narcotic pain pills to a Chicago police officer whose wife needs them. Paperwork sometimes just push through a little bit. I mean, I did have a legit reason to carry because I was I was dumping the cash at the end of the night. Yeah. So I'm you know I'm carrying five to ten grand in cash. Yeah. Full days take. So yeah. I mean, but it did make it easier to navigate the the channels, if you will. Richie, what's going on, Bubba? Let's look at they got recode. Um. Uh, no comment. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we need to get the double doctor dress up like Robert Franks for Halloween and make him say, "On oh, Wednesdays we do chess because if you want a hot mommy bounce out of your salami, your pecs better be effing swole." Okay, you up for that, bro? Who the fuck is Robert Franks? I don't know, but I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, because I'm, I'm not doing it. We're starting to figure out what I'm supposed to dress up for Halloween this year, because we're gonna do we're gonna do James as uh um we'll do Carl uh, as a dog from the Little Rascals. <laughs> I had I had the perfect idea. Hmm. Because Michelle's pregnant. Yeah. You dress up as a priest. She's a pregnant nun. <laughs> you have you have your little altar boy. Yeah, that, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I love the idea. It's a great idea, and somebody out there should do it. But in this neighborhood and in this household, oh yeah, no, 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 no. The, the grandparents are 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 beautifully beautiful. They're both beautiful people. And Pardos told me you hit the land at the lottery with my in laws, and he's very correct. They're both amazingly sweet people. And good you people. you could do uh, very hardcore Catholic, and that would just not work out. Because <laughs> you, uh, he's a pit bull, right? Uh, yeah, Carl's a pit. Yeah, he's a pity. So you've got dog pool. Come here, you Carl. Put, you, you you make Carl dog pool. The domestic terrorist is kid pool. You've got wife pool. You be dead pool. And then if anybody else joins you, then you've got family pool. <laughs> Come here. We're gonna make him the dog from the little rascals. We're gonna do a little Oh Spike? Yeah. We're gonna do a little uh marker. Okay, love you too, buddy. All right, all right. Oh, get a pit bull. That'd be fun to say. Um yeah, we're gonna draw a little thing around him and then we're gonna get James dressed up as one of the little rascals. Have him do froggy. <laughs> froggy? Okay. Uh, you are just. A... I got a blanket right there for you to lay. Okay. You don't have to be all up in my shit. You look up in my shit. See. <laughs> all right. Uh, Flick, uh, Flicka says he's a fucking hilarious. He's a gym rat that makes videos on Facebook and TikTok. Uh, what's his name? Robert Franks. All right. We'll have to look this guy up. It's on YouTube. He said. Oh, uh, Facebook, okay. Book of Faces and TikTok. What the hell no, I'll tell the truth again. Uh, and by the way, Richie, what's going on, brother? I don't know if I put you up there, but how are you doing? And that's one of my co-hosts on Sports Church. is getting catch right here tomorrow night at 1900 Eastern Standard Time with me, Richie the Redneck Pip King, Devil Doc, myself, Pops, and Brother Bishop Poop Dog. Uh, also, you can catch his show Tuesday at 1900 Eastern Time on YouTube, the Bo Radio Show. Make sure you, you check that out as well. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so we got that one. He's fucking late to Jim Rather Big Series on Facebook and TikTok. Dean, what the hell? Now, tell the truth again. <laughs> Black Bart Pirate. Uh, no, I got drunk last night in front of the mannequin 30 days. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Chris is calling for shots again. Jesus, dude. Let me hammer before anybody else gets here. He, he's in he's in serious mourning. The little dog from Little Rats first. Oh, okay. Petey. 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 Um uh, seriously, you think Petey. Okay. Yep. Petey. Go ahead. Go ahead, Carl. I, I put a blanket down there right for you. Good boy. Fuck another shot. Jesus Christ. Thanks to all everybody who's tuning in. I appreciate it. Um let's see, we got a new comment here. Oh, Gene's checking in. What's going on, brother? Dude's this Halloween side robbers. It'll be fun to watch you not swear. It just drink. <laughs> Good evening, brothers from the fine state of Indiana hanging out. What's going on, man? How is the Hoosier state? Now, I don't know if this is true. But that's where they get Hoosier from. You ever heard the reason they get Hoosier? It's the Hoosier state. Isn't that where pantyhose was invented? No. I mean, I don't know if they were invented there, but basically... Uh, what my great grandmother told me was that it was settled by a bunch of French settlers back in the day, which is very true. Because if you go into the country south of Indianapolis and either further down, way down there, all the towns are named after French towns. 
or French generals, stuff like that. So it's very French down there. So as they learn English, as the as the uh, as the uh, Americas changed a little bit, they had to say and speak English. And what do you say when somebody's oh, sure door? Who's there? Well, with the French accent, a, a little taken away from the home country, middle with a bunch of other things, it became who's there? Who's there? Hoosier. There you go. I don't know if it's true, but that's what my great grandmother told me. And that rest in peace. Anybody, t- anybody tells me she's wrong, I'll fucking kill you. I'm kidding. I don't care. It just it was a neat yet, yet, yet another reason why to hate French. Uh, I don't hate the French. I love the French. I hate I hate French urbanites. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I love <laughs> who would you rather have a beer with? Somebody who went to Columbia University and got a law degree and works in Boston. Or would you rather have and it's a white person or have a beer with a iron worker from Southie? Iron work you from Southie. Yes, and you probably can get arrested later tonight. However, it's still gonna be way fun and just as interesting, right? And that iron worker probably has a get out of jail free card. He might. He just might. <laughs> Good call. And if you're wearing anything Red Sox or Boston Bruins in Southie, you're golden. Yeah. They really do hate the fucking Patriots in Southie. Yeah. I uh I loved it when I was there. I had so much fun. Uh, last time I was there, I was rocking the beard, and they just fucking ate that shit up. The big orange beard. They thought it was great. Uh, and so I had a lot of fun and almost got arrested twice in like two hours. See, was- Chris is pissed at me. He's already telling me to fuck off. Kyle, and, I, and, and, I, and I said nothing bad about <laughs> anything Canadian. Jesus, your grandma had great dad jokes. <laughs> Whose shot was this for? Oh, this is for Chris, right? Yeah, it was for Chris. Okay, man. All right, let's do um, let's do the uh, Congressional Medal of Honor citation. Uh, this is October tenth. Yes. Yep. Oh, eighth. Excuse me. Oops. October eighth. Scroll down here a little bit. Um, yeah, cr- Chris, but you're French Canadian. That's a big difference. Yeah. And you're a lot cooler. Yeah. All right. A lot of, a lot of them for this day. Holy crap. Look, straight scroll like crazy. Uh, see any Marines one here? Is this Army, 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 Army? Oh, Marine Corps. Found one. Woo! Uh, okay. This is interesting. So. Uh, this goes to Ralph Talbot, uh, Second Lieutenant, U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, citation reasons follow for exceptional meritorious service and extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary words and stuff. Heroism while attached to Quadrant C, Squadron C, First Marine A- Aviation Air Force in France. Second Lieutenant Talbot participated in numerous air raids in enemy territory. On 8th of October 1918, while on such a raid, he was attacked by nine enemy scouts. And in the fight, the foul shot down an enemy plane also on October 14th, 1918, while in a raid over Pittman, Belgium, Second Lieutenant Talbot, and another plane became detached from the formation on account of a motor trouble and were attacked by 12 enemy scouts. During the severe fight, the foul, his plane shot down one of the enemy scouts. His observer was shot through his elbow and his gun jammed. Second Lieutenant Talbot maneuvered to gain time for the observer to clear the jam with one hand and then return to the fight. The observer fought until the until shot twice, once in the stomach and once in the hip, and then collapsed. Second Lieutenant Talbot attacked the nearest enemy scout with his front guns and shot him down. With his observer unconscious and his motor failing, he died to escape the balance of the enemy and crossed the German trenches an altitude of 50 feet, landed at the nearest hospital to leave his observer, and then returning to his aerodrome. All right, a flyboy got in. Wow. Do you know? It's been a minute since that happened. Yeah, that's a trip. Shotskis. Nazis. All right, so to those who uh, paved the way for us, to those who served in the left and right of us, in the blood, the mud, the sand, the dirt, in the boredom, in the peacetime, in the inspections, and the horror that all those entailed, uh, to those crazy enough to follow in our footsteps, to those we lost in far-off seas, 
And to those we lost at home to the demons, they simply could not run the bar. Salute you. Prost. I don't think it was a blunderbuss. Yeah, fuck, this is 1918. How do you shut their arm with a blunderbuss and keep fighting? It might not have been a blunderbuss. Some of those dudes just carried pistols to shoot at each other. In 1918, a little more sophisticated, but not sophisticated, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on with Tim. I'm about to punch him in the goat ads. He might enjoy that. He would enjoy that. Uh, I'm going to send him a message. Uh, are you, though? Yeah, there you go. Might have to do memes without him. Even though I know he said some of the memes and there might be repeats, they might be. But uh, I don't think very few, because remember, I only did like, I didn't do hardly any last week. Remember? Yeah, he did like 12. Yeah, that, I don't even think it was that. Well, I think it was 10 initially, and a couple of people sent me in at the last minute. I think that's what that was. Oh, wow. Philly's what? winning one to nothing. Oh, shit. Bottom of the fourth. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was a joke. Ah, fucker. Hey, my brother, I hope you're doing well today. Hey, I hope you're doing well over there in lovely old England. Hey, I got to be honest. I took a shot at your boys the other day. Uh, somebody made a comment about uh, Americans on a, on, a, on a meme post. And uh, I was like, you just need to shut your limey ass up. Signed, the colonies. He didn't take it very well. He kind of fucking exploded, and I sat back and watched it. Ate popcorn and watched him embarrass himself on Facebook. But I was trolling him a little bit. You know, I love my UK guys in the end. But once they start talking shit a little bit, you know, hey, you sop all some shit up there. I'm gonna fucking. He should be on his lunch break. He should be. All right. Yeah, because it's like 1 a.m. over there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ah, uh, let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, that's the start. There you go. So, please check your kids' Halloween candy. This year I found a fully functional AK-47 in my kids' candy. Nice. Nice. Nice Century Arms AK you got there. Obviously sanded the, the bottom one, huh? You can tell. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yep. Yep. Nirvana fans in 1944. We can't wait for another Al of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, if you were married to that bitch, you'd blow your brains out too. Jesus Christ. Uh, me waking up on leave back home, not hearing the sound of revving Mustangs and poor financial decisions at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, the days. Wow, whoever Flick of Bean is, is on some shit. Oh, yeah, I know it is. What do you do now? Meal Team 6, Lead Big Mac Sniper. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's coming up here in a second. He's coming up here. There he is. I don't need plates. Plates slow me down. I like to stay mobile. Oh. <sighs> Okay, well, you need to drop about 150 pounds. Nah, I think 50. I think 50 would do him all right. The Kool Aid guy ain't got nothing on him. He's got a pretty good cut, dude. I'm getting scared. The dad bob's coming in. You know how much I weighed the other day at the doctor's office? How much? 195. Wow, that's a lot for you. I've gained 20 pounds. Uh, not 20. Uh, like, yeah, close. Let's say 15 to 20 pounds since I moved back down here. I'm not fucking working all day. I'm working, I'm doing internet shit. I'm not, you know, running around a ra ra warehouse like a crazy person, driving the forklift, jumping on, jumping off, doing all that shit, right? Yeah. I'm just getting fucking fat, and the dad boot is just, the dad bot is coming in hard. Like, I, I cut down to a soda today. I hope that I got I now I think I gotta cut out like all candy. 
I got to cut out eating like a couple hours before I go to bed. Like, I'm like, oh, until I get like back to doing regular physical work all day. I can't. I can't. The dad dog cannot, cannot win. It cannot win. Can't win. Antifa tank division. <laughs> Antifa tank division. Uh, Antifa tank division. I like that. Yeah. 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 I think he's coming. He says he's coming. Yeah, I call bullshit. Uh, all right, next one. This we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Hell we, yes, we need to do this. It's not gonna be cheap, but this has to be done. Some helium and blow up dolls, and watch people lose their minds yeah that would be great and it wouldn't be that hard to do in Ohio no not really later this week NASA will intentionally crash a Sally into Stacey Abrams ass just to see what happens oh dear god <laughs> it might if she spins in orbit though it might go through that space in her teeth and go into her lizard brain and kill her so let's not let that happen might melt if she farts. Yeah. Get that shit fixed. Eat a kale salad. You fucking disgusting fat body. Like, it's, 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 it's just, oh. Like, that Lizzo's mom? It, it, yeah, right? Fucking. Get, you know, ugh, Lizzo. Ugh. So, since Lizzo plays the flute, does she play the tuba? We got to, yeah, we got to save this for later. You remind me to pull this one up later. Uh, cause this okay. is a good, uh, yeah, story. Uh, remind me dumbest stuff. What's the dumbest thing you did in the military story? Uh, the target area is only two inches wide. It's a small thermal exhaust port right below the main port. The shaft leads directly to the reactor. I'm going in. You get some, buddy. Get some. That's a nice booty, by the way, too. Jesus. I told you we're going to watch Lizzo twerk and play the flute, and then you can leave. Ugh. I'm out. I'm out. This meme should be titled "What Saved My Life," because I wouldn't want I wouldn't watch her do, I, I, anything. I don't. I just mm. I understand she's fairly funny comic. Pretty interesting that she can uh, play the flute. But uh, Lizzo's a comic. Yeah, I thought Lizzo was a musician. She does. The, Nicole ba Nicole Bayers was the comic. Hmm. The chick, from nailed, the chick from Nailed It. Hmm. Okay, maybe I misheard. I don't know. It's possible. I knew. I just heard. They totally. do look alike. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah. It, it, I mean, you know what? It's funny, though. To give her props, uh, she did play that fucking flute well. She did. It was crazy. I was like, what? This bitch is going to respect it. And she actually, I was like, oh, shit. She knows what she's doing. Gotcha. Uh, record scratch freeze frame. Yep, it's me. You probably wonder how my crystal flute ended up being played by 900 pound manatee. I am too wondering. History is fucking cool. The National Capitol Secret Service Capitol Police showing her on stage. Why? Because she's the first ever to play President James Madison's 1813 crystal flute. Crushing the Library of Congress. Super amazing to witness. Was it or did you want to vomit? I wanted to vomit. I wanted to vomit. I'm sorry. Like, that's just. <sighs> There's, you know, squishy and, and curvy, and then there's, Jesus fucking Christ, eat a salad. Seriously. Celebrate fat. Stop. Stop. Celebrate death. Just got a message from LTC. Uh, I don't know if you know name. Lieutenant Colonel, if a soldier cannot, come, this is my favorite, uh, from USA's What the Fuck Moments, so give him some props. If a soldier cannot come into work Thursday or Friday or work at an alternate armory due to flooding slash child care, they must input leave. No telework is authorized. Please relay this to your team. Uh, USA, what the fuck, Lomas says, hey, there's a hurricane and flooding, but you better not miss work because you can't get child care. Hashtag people first. And the army can't meet their recruiting. They missed it by 25% this year. 25%. That's nuts. And you know what they're going to do is they're going to, instead of unfucking themselves on the back end, 
they're gonna fucking lower standards. Yeah, I know. Well, they already did. You don't yeah, have to graduate yeah. high school to go in now. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get much lower than that. Not really. Unless you take special people. Yeah. Then that's bad. Let's not do that. I mean, God bless our cotton socks, but and and I don't mean special people. I mean like the window lickers. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Lowe's taking guesswork out of storing bodies. I think these are some of the ones we did, right? Yeah. We can our beers are fairly dirty drink sweet like a complete degenerate. <laughs> that righteous man cares to these are Xanil. Yep. I miss you, Dad. Oh, yeah, we did that one. We did this one. Uh, we didn't do this one, though. No. So I was trying to think about how to caption this. Because you got the two most know-it-alls at the bar, right? Next to Luke Skywalker. There's got to be a conversation in there. Well, you know there, Norm, that uh, the Millennium you- Falcon actually was named after the Falcon on the planet Millennium. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Uh, Cliff? Yeah. Was in uh, Empire Strikes Back. Was he? Yeah. When? Uh, he was in one of the ones working on the... Uh, uh, closing everything up as the Millennium Falcon was leaving. Okay. Yeah, he, w- he was one of the last ones behind. Was his first big role. Gotcha. Uh, Not that I'm a Star Wars nerd or anything. Uh, nerd. Marines, no more tw- more no more than twelve crayons per day, Dr. Nawazazan. Yeah. No. No. And let me see your butthole. Weird. Meps was weird. Hey, what'd you do today, dude? Oh, I went to Meps. Oh yeah, the thing you had to do to join Marine Corps, yeah. So what you had to do? I had to show my butthole to an 80-year-old man who I'm pretty sure died right after the exam. What, from looking at your butthole? No, he was 80 years old, bro. Just gonna die. That's so weird. You're gonna have the same problems you have in the Navy in the civilian world, Chief says. (laughs) That's just like your opinion, man. (laughs) The dude does not abide. Where's my rug, man? What the hell? God dang it. Uh, there we go. Was that it? Did I already go through? Shit. Yeah. No shit? Yep. Now. Now. Oh. Yeah, so we did there, that one. So there. No, I just pulled that one up today. There's no way. There's no way. I pulled it up this week and put it on the bar. There's no way. Oh, me, me and um, Pimp did that one. Mm. My bad. So I was going to town on that ass. How you doing? Ah! That's going in is that's going into the vault of best of all year. How it took this long for somebody to do that? Uh, inconceivable. How you doing? When you're on watch and you see relief coming, well, you just remind me how fucking much my life sucks. Thanks, dude. Excuse me. Bless me. Damn, did you know some people think everyone should have the ability to buy machine guns and suppressors? And say, Excuse me. Well, of course I know him. He's me. And yes, I'm that guy, too. Me having flashback to Porty Potty meat beatings when someone thanks me for my service. Yeah. Yep. I had it happen the other day. Porta potty number three. Somebody thanked me for my service. And my thought went to <laughs> you know what act you know most of my service entail entail Jesus I got the allergies also. I apologize, people. I really do. And the drill searcher gazed upon his work and beheld that it was good. Oh, fucking hated that. Hated that when that happened. Somebody had a cookie. I don't remember. I had two happen in boot camp. There were two different platoons. The first one I was extremely upset about. (laughs) 
the second one I just laughed at because I already knew what was happening. I already saw it coming. I've seen it done before. I told everybody just let him have his fun. Don't react. He'll stand there and we'll just unfuck it. We'll do it. You know, everybody just basically, you know, you've got four uh, squad leaders. Everybody just centralize shit, and then we just get every, all the sweaters together, get everything together, and then we just, hey, Jackson, hey, Mo, hey, fucking Kramer, hey, this, hey, there, you know, take your sweatshirt, take your book, take your, uh, your, your all draw tee, take your white tee, take this, and then within 10 minutes, it was literally 10 minutes, was back to normal. And they came out of the duty hut like, what the fuck? Carmen, get over here. Uh, how'd you do that? It's, sir, this recruit's seen that before. It's no. I know it's a little training exercise. It's okay. <laughs> You're supposed to fuck us up and piss us off and make us all flush. It's okay. I've, I've been through this before, you know, so no worries. Chris is calling for shots. Holy shit. I'm gonna fucking shit face before anybody fucking even gets in here. Uh, yeah, Tim taking his time. Where the fuck is Blue, by the way? Probably not off work yet. She said she was coming. When she said she's coming, I'm like, oh, she's coming. All right. Oh, Shotskis. Sorry, Chris, about your boys. We love you. We love the Blue Jays. Obviously, I picked them to go to the World Series. That didn't... Uh, then it pan out. I didn't change it kind of like I don't think that's gonna happen. Last week, I think I, what did we go for in the American League? I think we went for the Yankees. And the Yankees and the Astros to go to the AL uh CS. Yeah. yeah. And it was the Braves oh, and the No, it was the Mets and the Dodgers. Yeah. For the National League. Yeah, and I changed my mind today on the post you had. I think I put Atlanta. I'm like, yeah, I'm abandoning the mess. Don't tell us. All right. I'm so, not. To Chris Benoit Balls and his Toronto Blue Jays for having a, I'm going to say it, dude, a very uh, underwhelming season. Blame it on Bo Bichette. Blame it on Bo Bichette. What's up, Full Metal Vet? E4 is playing a sham of the Smoke Pit circa 1777. I put this uh, on the main page and it exploded. Wow. I like now, it. exploded a year ago meant it hit like 100,000 people on our page before Facebook decided to hate us. Exploding now is, I think it hit like 20,000 people, which I was like, I thought this might do so well. This E4 is playing a sham with smoke pit circa 1770. <laughs> I love it. Of course, we Did you see a problem with this bottle? Mm, what's the problem with the bottle? It's empty? Yep. Amen. That's a problem. Soon started, soon started giving a brief. My zoned out, at, my zoned out brain called JG Whitworth 877. <laughs> Been there, done that. that goddamn commercial. God damn it. The Reliance prefix code is 53180. Here it comes, Con. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I love it. Joe Biden sending free, pe <laughs> sending free people. He Dude, come 1994 on. Prime Bill. I'm a generous God. Where do I go now? Come on, man. That They're not going to let him run, right? They're not going to do it. No. He was serious. He had no idea where in the fuck he goes from here. He's so fucking lost. Awesome. What do you think being an armor crew is going to be like? What your crew is actually like? That was a mix for me. It was a mix. Like our... our on my tank, my platoon command, or my tank commander was a staff sergeant. He was... Very good to go, very hardcore, and not in a bad way. Like, one of the things I love about uh, combat arms is that 
like their job is everything and your attention to detail at your job and your willingness to learn and suffer and not complain is everything where pogues like me the, the notorious pog they try so hard to be grunts and everything's so fucking serious training is serious day-to-day -day work is not it is not it is that and that's what pogues that's why being in pogue units are so miserable because they try to be hardcore dude you fucking work in an office you're s1 shut up we hate you hello you like you at all all you do is fucking okay all right. and shit and I'll be there. just and you're I, I, horribly miserable so I, you obviously have to push on us things no all grunts care about is are you competent in your job can you pt can you shoot can you do your job can you do the next guy's job and the next guy's job if you can do that hey Minnie, i'll be yeah. right i'll be right back i gotta go pick somebody up oh you motherfucker all right I'll see you in a minute all right but uh oh shit you're stuck with me Hey, bring Chris yeah, on. Yeah, because they haven't had a cigarette in fucking forever. So, and Blue's not here yet. And I can't just leave you running the show. Right. <sighs> I warned you about this. They all fucking hate me. That's why they're not. They home. don't fucking hate you, you fucking idiot. Anyways, moving on. I, I just reliving my glory days of working the first tanks and the great story. Yeah, you got to do cool shit with ammo. I was like. Nope. Well, ha how, how it happened was see see what happened was I was, doing happened a was I was doing a cax and they had a platoon uh, from first tanks up there and I'm walking to uh, the uh, the package store PX there and yeah. uh, there was four tanks that a platoon tank there. Uh, not too far away. Is it's, that why you play the game tanks all the time? Oh, uh, And uh, oh, yeah. um, I was just I was rubbing this M1A1 like it was my <laughs> like I was, it was your uh, dick. And I'm like, oh god! I was like, you're a nasty baby, aren't you? And this lieutenant, this this first lieutenant pops up and he goes, "I do, Marine." I'm like, oh shit! Boom! Snap! How you doing, sir? And he returned. He's like, "You like her?" I'm like, "Sir, uh, yeah." And no my buddy's idea. like, "Don't do it." I'm like, "If I could fuck her, I would." <laughs> and he yes. Laughed. He laughed his ass off. He goes, "Hop up." And he reached out his hand, and he pulled me up on the tank, and uh, he showed me through the tank. We went through the turret. And he goes, "You know what this is?" And I'm like, "I'm rattling everything off." He goes, "How do you know all this?" Uh, books. I love tanks. I love books. He goes, you really love tanks? I'm like, oh my god, who doesn't? Commies? I don't know. I guess they do. I guess they like their, their tanks, too. But he's like, Is that oh, when he shows you the glory hole? No. Uh... And uh, I was like, oh, sir, I gotta go pick some stuff up. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, the tour and whatnot. He goes, what do you do? I said, I'm an ammo tech. You're gonna come, you're gonna come see me tomorrow to do uh, a simulated combat reload over way over by the lights oh yeah yeah really i'll see you there i'm like okay i didn't think anything of it got pretty trash that night and uh did a, a brutal all day uh pulls from stacks and a lot of loads and then here come the tanks because you can hear them from fucking ever away oh the, yeah you know the turbines and uh we start getting everything ready, and I go, hey, and I hear, hey, where's Cremory? I'm like, what the fuck did I do now? I didn't recognize the voice at first. And then my staff sergeant, my staff agency, uh, OIC of the detachment there, he's like, Cremory, get over here. And I come running, he goes, officer wants to talk to you. I'm like, uh, what the, sh what did I do now? Like, fuck, was it? Like, hell in the fuck? I just really showed up. Jerking off on the berm at like 3 30. <laughs> I run over there. It's this lieutenant. And he goes, Hey, guy, guy had to go home on emergency leave. Guess who's my little loader? And I'm like, I don't know what that dude. He goes, Nope, you. I'm like, Uh, <laughs> is no an option? He goes, No. <laughs> I just basically bought you from your unit. You're going to do the 
final combined arcs is, are, do the final cax exercise with us as my loader on the job training i'm like I dude should... that's cool as shit though i mean how how could you not be excited about that yeah and then i went to work for first tanks for like six months then I went back to ammo company and two weeks later i got orders to miramar it was awesome man and i love those dudes i fucking didn't want to leave i'm like can we figure out a way to like fast track my next contract so that i lat move into tanks and they're like well we're, we'll look into it and then i got orders i'm like fuck like we're getting the paper together that's how quick it was gonna be and i don't think ammo company was fine getting rid of me I think they've been fine with that. They would have signed the paper, let me lat move, and uh, put the headquarters in Marine Corps. Okay, I would have been a well. tanker. And I've been a tanker. I never would have left the Marine Corps, even though they're getting rid of their tanks, which is a super smart idea. All right. Yeah. All right. Warning your kids' Halloween candy could be deadly fentanyl pills. Uh, Dan Crenshaw writes at the bottom is if you don't have enough to worry about, now parents have to ensure that their kids. Halloween candy is it fentanyl. What the fuck? Like, no. <sighs> That's just horrible. I'm just saying. Right. You, you want to worry about my tweets when I'm president. President Biden says the risk of nuclear Armageddon is at the highest level since 1996 Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, again, never believe anything that ever comes out of a politician's mouth. Especially he's making it that way for his when own he, political game. Especially when he has Alzheimer's. Right. Doctor, Wait, what? Pills. here, take four of these. Me swallowing them. What are they? Doctor crushing them up and snorting them. The rest. Uh, we're about to fucking find out. That's <laughs> <laughs> nah, gonna be fun. Yay. All right. Without further ado. Ado. She is a nice ace. Navy veteran as well. And uh, we haven't probed her, Katie, uh, for enough good stories, but we will maybe tonight. She doesn't like me. Do. She, one of my favorites. I know she's one of your favorites. Please welcome to the bar. The Blue. What's going on, Chica? Oh, not much. We're just getting back from dinner, so. Oh, wow. You're really dark. Yeah. I know. I'm in a car, dude. I mean, but... Besides your normal personality. Oh. Um, thank you. That's such a compliment. I love it. Uh, it's not dark. It's uh, it's burlesque. God, so <laughs> sure, whatever. We'll go with that. Hey, she got a kick out of John's. Shut up. All right. Uh, this one did okay on the main page. I kind of was hoping it would do better, but it did pretty good. Hmm. Uh, the invention of archery. I really want to stab that guy, but he's way over there. Uh, human is your need. Where there's a need, there's a way, right? Why is there, <laughs> a, pigeon in Delhi? Why is there a pigeon at the Delhi International Airport? A pigeon at Delhi International Airport replies, mind your own fucking business. <laughs> Best tweet of the year. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. That is great. Somebody took the time to create that account. <laughs> <laughs> didn't reply with that. Oh, nutty. When you get that PT text, or that PT is canceled text. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like you're that. You know, uh, I mean, normally I was up at that time banging someone. We or you see the black flag go up down in Florida, like, like too hot to work out, be like, oh, thank God. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's Florida. <laughs> that didn't mean anything in the Marine. Well, you know, California funny? on a fucking hill. Dude. Dude, you know me. Oh my god, who chose their own path? Not me. Uh. Dirt. We were at. I was at one of the things I was working with first tanks. Oh, they put black flag. We canceled the whole training evolution for the day, right? Yeah. I call to the office at Ammo Company, right at, at on the hill, right at the ASP. I'm like, hey, you guys are PT today. They're like, fuck yeah. I'm like, dude, the grunts aren't. Why are you? He goes, because we're not grunts and they want to be. Fucking like, ammo, right. We're hard. <laughs> no, you're fucking retarded. That's what you are. Toxic. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't use a hard R in retarded. Retard. I Thank say you. retard. Yeah, that's much better. 
uh, trying to sleep during a barracks party, be like two forty five a.m. Door opens, three ten a.m. Get up, fucker, come drink. Four uh... five a.m. Screaming and crying. Seven fifty seven fifty six a.m. Hey, bro, they're fighting in the laundry room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right before walking to formation. Yeah. That yeah. was always, hey, Sergeant Latore. <laughs> really? really, really Who is it? Oh, it's Conkle. Uh, yeah. All right, fuck. Is one of the worst. Don't tell Gunny. I got it. Flat Earthers claim Australia doesn't exist, and people who live there are actors paid by NASA. Flat Earthers who live in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, there's actually people out there like that. God help us all. When you're enjoying a nice swim and AB gets into the pool. Eee. You don't know about that. Antonio Brown, the yep. NFL stud, one of the best wide receivers of all time had he not gone batshit crazy. Um, decided to flash himself in a hotel full of people in a hotel swimming pool. So he, obviously he's He's looking for help without saying he needs help. And the Beastie Boys didn't fight for your right to punish. You can drink White Claws. No, they did not. Oh, no, they did not. Come on. There we go. Now we've gone full full circle. We're back. I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> well, fucking shit. Doc in fucking blue or oh there she is. I need a break like yesterday, dude. No, you're Get not getting the comments here. Uh, Flicka says they do drugs in the candy thing every year. Drugs are expensive. They ain't giving that shit away for free for sure. Hey, Blue, Ohio State beat Michigan State today. Well, she don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Black flag in El Centro, Cali. Actually, you didn't leave your barracks room. What? That's what it was in Florida, in Pensacola, Florida. Once the black flag went up, you were advised not to go out for any PT whatsoever. And you were advised that if you had to go out, you had to make it short. Like Can't go Pel to the go ahead. Like go to the next and that was it. Camp Pelton was on fire. It was on fucking fire. Okay, and you guys are fucking demons. So it should be like at home. And they fucking there's ash landing on the parade. <laughs> We're warming up for BT, and they're discussing it's a ridge away. It's gonna be there in 15 minutes, right? It's a ridge away, and they're like, right. "You think we should PT?" I'm like, "I, I finally said I, I, I was a corporal. I at least had I think a little bit of ground to stand on." I'm like, "Are you fucking serious? What the fuck are you doing?" If you want to PT, let's go play basketball inside the gymnasium. Let's not run the hills that are on fucking fire. You want to be so hard, Pogues. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Virginia, they advised us to, when it got especially humid and hot, to PT indoors as well. Yeah. I also got away with it because there's nobody in the battalion that could outrun. <laughs> there's a 300 PF tier, and there's an expert in the rifle range. That helped. That helped a lot. I, I still caught shit for it. You shouldn't be saying that, Corporal Kermit. Okay. Corporal Kermit. Yeah, okay. That's like Petty Officer Blue Dancy. ABF3. What? <laughs> like, hey, Sergeant Latore. It's like dirty words coming out of your mouth. Why yeah, right. What? Thank you, Blue. Uh, I missed the barracks party. I really appreciate that. 10.5 of my day. Flick of bean. I remember that. I was in the sunshine during that fire. It was like 90 degrees at midnight. It looked like it was snowing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was stupid. Welcome to California. It was stupid. And the one on Pendleton was started by some fucking dumbass who let this Humvee right. run in on a fire oh, break, which is even seriously. more. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. John Woodruff, my fellow sufferer of World of Tanks. Fuck those Belarusian guns. Oh, yeah, he called you out. Busted. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Kyle's got to get back. I can't. Uh... Kyle. God damn it, Kyle. Where's Kyle at? You need to go pick some up. He's been so, a good guy. Blue. What's hmm. the new? 
what's been happening? How you doing? How's the 710? Come at me, baby. Oh, we're good. Like I said, we just got back from dinner. He decided to treat me to a place that has a really good creme brulee, so mm. hearty. Um, That's a gangster right there. That's the best dessert on planet Earth. It is. I remember in France when I was in, uh, we were visiting Arles as a tour. That was where uh, Van Gogh had painted his legendary yellow cafe painting. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big Van Gogh fan, so that was really nice for me. Um, wow. if yeah, you're such a fan, you haven't cut your ear off. Sorry, right. night. Wow, yeah. That well, that's this is Jason's uh black light tapestry where he's supposed to be getting a full moon one tomorrow. Cool, um, but so, yeah, we went right there and they had the best creme brulee at this restaurant. I just pointed at it like that's what I want. And uh, I had a friend, she ordered it too, and she's like, I don't like it. I'm like, well, hand that shit over, <laughs> like, yep. I'm not gonna complain, but Was yeah, no. Good? It's it's really good. It's really good. I personally like it. Um, but yeah, he took me out to dinner. Uh, tomorrow we're going to a couple of craft shows. Um, let's see. What else are we doing? What else are we doing? Uh, I don't know, John Widow better fucking apologize. 710. Spit it out, boy. He oh, we're also going to... to I am not an old pisser, and you know that, so you need to fucking apologize. Nah. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, dare you! Old hit, sure. I don't give a shit what anyone says. One, I'm wearing a Scotty Irish cap. I got the green. I got the orange fucking beard, and I had to start wearing glasses because I was getting headaches. Because my my focus focus was not uh, doing well. So, Your focus focus uh, wasn't doing well. My focus blue. Yeah. I like seventeen, but he's a good guy. He seems to be taking care of her, and he's pretty yeah. funny. He seems to enjoy. At least tolerating us or, or having fun. I with mean, him. besides being, yeah, right. He's a handsome motherfucker. So, I mean, on top of all that, if Blue's happy, I'm happy. Exactly. That's the first meaningful thing I've ever heard you say to me. <laughs> ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, but no, he also hasn't really celebrated Halloween, so I'm kind of helping him a little bit. Oh, oh come on, seven ten. I mean, you have you haven't even started yet, right? With this, no, I do, you, yeah. do you even do you ever look at my Instagram? You see all the yeah, crazy Halloween stuff. stuff I like. You well, know what you need? I saw something the other day. It was um, it's a projector, and it's a you buy the projector and you have a screen and you put it up on your windows. You set it back, and it, and you can program it to do yeah a bunch of different yeah. things. Like, and it's not yeah. very expensive. I think actually, like the the, it's not that expensive to get the whole kit. No, I make everything out of wood. Perfect, easy setup. You know, don't you know? Just get it on Amazon, yeah. get it, set it up, and so he can have like zombies coming at the kids. Hey, you said the A word, which what? we don't talk about. What's the A word? Amazon. Uh, uh -huh. Well, I, hey, it's also my that. birthday month, so we try to find at least a little bit of fun stuff to do. So, um, hey, what what's your birthday? October twentieth. Yeah, he I'm the nineteenth. Oh God! <laughs> birthday, buddy. I mean, you're gonna be like twenty four, and I'm gonna be fifty one. So it's it's cool. Yeah, sure. Twenty four. If that was like ten years ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thirty-four blue, really? Thirty-four. Yeah, he said he was gonna be nine. I'm fifty-one. <laughs> I'm not rocking the cradle, blue. Damn. He's not. He is thirty-two. I know. Oh, he'll rock the cradle it. a little bit. Hey, hey, John, look. What? Dun, 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 dun. I'm blue. Hey, look at my guy. Drunk as shit, yes. You <laughs> have no idea. Yes, thank you. Anyways, no, yeah, no. So yeah. we've got a lot planned for the month. We're gonna go to some haunted houses and whatnot. We went to oh, cool. we went to one in Toledo called the um Collingwood. Yeah, Collingwood Arts Center. Yeah, they had a big open house and they were letting people walk through. So we kind of walked through in the dark by ourselves for a bit, and that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a Anything we're gonna be doing a cool lot of or was it just walking to a crazy old house? <laughs> it's a legit haunted place. And so they right. were letting us walk through. They had like, you know, um 
free access to some of the rooms and whatnot. So we we were there. How long were we there? About a good two, three hours? Yeah, we had some personal experiences there. Oh, cool. Okay, so it wasn't like, yeah, we walked through. It was kind of lame or whatever. Yeah, oh, no, cool. we had our own personal experiences. I mean, was yeah. it like the conjuring shit? No, but right. it was enough to kind of make you go, hmm, okay. Like steps. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, I mean, honestly, guys, I mean, it's like half the, like you watch Ghost Adventures, Zach Baggins, my least Zach favorite Zach Baggins. I, I kind of like him. No, I don't know. I watch like, him all the fucking time, but let's dive into this real quick. Like, how deep not, is he not, going to fucking man, bullshit? I'm not, I'm not a big believer of ghosts and haunted places. It's real. I think it's bullshit most of it. However, well, yeah. when you watch Zach back, it's cool. Jason's fucking apartment yes. that we're in is haunted at times. Like we get yeah. a lot of weird occurrences here. Let me call. You said that. No, I, I believe think, it. Uh, what one thing. Everybody's from the day they're born are are, say, are scared of generally one thing. Anyone want to guess at it? I wasn't. Yeah, scared of the someone movie. putting a dick in your butt. Most people are scared of the dark. I wasn't from, from childhood to adult. No, scared of the dark. Most people Google it. I guarantee you, I'm right. Most people are scared of the dark. Now, when you're scared, your lizard brain and every else part of your brain kicks into high level fight or flight and all your senses intensify. Then you get preconceptions of, cause you've heard things of ghosts and specters and this and that. And so you, your mind, which is insanely powerful because it manifests things, things, a squirrel running up a metal pole, sliding back down with his nails. Sounds like a, a screech or whatever. But here's what I get. I'll give you a, a bit of a, uh, a carrot. So before I bought my farm in Indiana, I managed a horse farm in Kentucky. It was built in 1813, right? Built from mud from the uh, Ohio River uh, mm -hmm. plantation house. It mm -hmm. had very ridiculous uh bamboo forest that you can find on google I'll show, I'll show it to you guys sometime on google you can see this bamboo mm -hmm. forest it's ridiculous this big white big white house no i know your house okay. was i also had a slave quarters and there were slaves hanging on that property oh and then you yeah, that property so and here's the other thing i'll get i'll maybe i'll get that later but first instance <clears throat> Uh, I did a lot of handiwork on that place. I did all the uh, took out all the horses on that property, took all the animals on that property, did all the landscaping on that property. But it was, and I did a lot of work inside of it. But one of the things uh, I was asked to do was I had to go and check the house because apparently the water was running for fucking a month. Nobody been in wow. there. I walked in there. In three different toilets, Ooh, I, and I can't mechanically under, understand why, but the valves were open, so it kept filling with water. And you just say you don't believe in ghosts. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is what I'm saying. This is weird. Okay. It was filled with if water. If it's weird, it's fucking water, right. Filled with water and draining. Now I, I it was the top floor. I I fixed all those toilets. Twenty three hundred dollar water bill for nobody living there. That's mm -hmm. wow. water, right? Hey. Wow, sounds like my I start, bar. I start turning out the lights. I start walking downstairs, and like a fucking bullet, bam, the hair on the back of my neck stands up straight. And I get kind of a fight or flight response from my body, like, hey, get ready. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Fuck you. If you want to do something, say something, show me, I'm out. You're not going to just scare me and make me a bitch. I'm out of this fucking house, which is kind of a cover. Like, I'm fucking scared. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> and your ghost is like, I'll raise you a 10. <laughs> right, yeah. I'll call, I'll call you with your bullshit. Um, but yeah, I got out of there. And so the next day, I, well, I called my landlord. And I'm like, hey, I took care of everything. Should be good. It was just a bunch of toilets open. Uh, running weird and crazy. I don't know why. I fix it. It should be good. If you want me to cut the main main water to the house, I can do that too. You know, to make sure it doesn't happen. 
I was like, no, we have contractors coming in at like six in the morning. I'm like, why weren't they there at eight o'clock at night? Oh, they won't work there after night. I'm like, really? They're like, no, the place is fucking haunted. I'm like, Mo, you're you're a Korean veteran. You you're literally sent me if into you a a veteran, if you even house. have it's hard. Hard veterans going, okay, I don't want to be in this house, and they've experienced their own shit. You have to go, okay, like. I guess, but yeah. Really? Like yeah. even grandpa, even my grandpa, a hardened Vietnam veteran, has had his own haints, as he calls them. And he's like, yeah, the shit. Yeah, Richie. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, Richie. Yeah. yeah you see, I'll, you I'll, read it. The other thing. So, uh, where, and they haven't taken it away. Here's another crazy thing some of the slaves are still buried on their property. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, in the storm cellar, we actually had uh, a very nasty tornado system come through. Like, it spawned three. Mm. And one jumped to the Indiana side and fucked up a bunch of shit. But two stayed on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River and just started rolling through Gent and Car- Carrollton and Warsaw. And I had to take the cats into the storm shelter and my god they didn't say a word they knew what's going on they, they know the drop in air pressure and they hear the rain the thunder they know that should scare them but they weren't that scared i put them in this fucking storm cellar they both get out of the cat carrier and go start going <laughs> at opposite ends like, apparently there's some shit in there, maybe. I don't know. I mean, to them, there was something there. They were not happy. They were full, full tail poof mode. Yeah. Was it, punch, and they were, they were not happy. Did any of them have any sort of black on them? Mm. Is that what she no. said? No, 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 no. Uh, were they no. Calico or Tabby? Uh, Gaius? Was uh, Tabby? Uh, yep. There was some be- shit. In, there was some shit in that cellar. Yeah, they were not, ha- and they did. They, 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 I tr- kept trying to get them to hang out with me, and they're like, "No, they just posted off." One was there. Well, you have, you also have to trust your animals too. Like we've seen Cinder over here, Satan. Um, <laughs> she'll stare up. She'll stare up at like the corner. She'll stare down the hallway. And she kind of gets, you know, just she'll just sit there and stare. She'll legit hiss. And we and she's hissed a couple times that we've seen it. I mean, yeah. we've heard and seen things in this apartment, so it's and it's not like it's uh, something of like irrationality where it's a fear. Because honestly, I lived in a house for uh, that was haunted for seventeen years, and I never feared it. I knew it was there, but I never feared it. And it wasn't just some type of rationality that I thought. Hey, I move closer to the camera. No, I, I, I do I did make like I try to make peace with that house um on the banks of Ohio because I fucking had to hold on for a second. Yeah, uh, we see seven ten that. now. There he is. Yeah. I'm you like, I like that. acknowledge that what's we, there is there we, and that it this is gotta, what they're saying. I gotta do work here. I have to I have to mow the lawns, I have to take care of these damn horses who are lunatics, <laughs> the goats who are assholes, the llama can go fuck himself. I don't need you looking around to make my life more fucking crazy. Stop messing with the water. Stop <laughs> turning up the heat or down. Like, Jesus Christ, this is a mud brick, yep. mud brick house. It, it is like living in a magazine. It's it, The temperature change doesn't go very high. But why are you turning the air conditioning to 60, which happened? Ah, you know how big, how much money that is? To heat or cool a twenty three hundred square foot house. Oh yeah, I believe it. And then I mean, the like water said, thing, we, and then we, uh, and, oh. we had our quite of experiences in that place. I mean, we've all we both have had our experience, our fair share experiences with stuff. I mean, my boat, I legit feel is haunted by some of the dead sailors and contractors that are on there. Right, I mean, we, right. I mean, if you feel it, you feel it. It's, yeah, and I mean, like you can't deny it. Like when you feel it, 
it when he and I both feel it, it's like it just makes the hair stand up, and we just kind of it's like somebody's like this close to you, in a sense. Yeah. But it's when so he cool. feels it, it's like is he doing this because it gets sketchy? I, I question his feelings <laughs> sometimes. But yeah, no, it uh, we we've had our fair share here. It's, we had our fair share at the Collingwood's Art Center. It so. feels like electric. That's as what it feels much like. as I like it. Yeah, yeah. Wants to Guys, I, I 100% believe it. Everyone's like, no, ghosts are bullshit. No. Well, we're, had, we're more, we're we're more of the uh, where I am so 100% on board with like, yeah. It, well, we try I'm to be a ghost about what we're guy, doing. but the shit's real. But we try to rationalize at the times what we feel, you know, if it is something that's either outside like if it's something that's around the house, like we try to debunk it. Yeah, like we try to rationalize. Is it positive for you or is it negative? If it's positive or if it's it's one of those things, then you just live with it. Who cares? I mean, if it's negative, you're goddamn going to know it. So, yeah, huh. I, I yeah, agree. It's... Yeah, we that we had our fair share of experiences. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have the picture. Uh, I'm gonna have to. You hey, know, you just put up shots. Did anyone do shots? I just took. Yeah, my mini did. One. No yeah. bullshit. That didn't count. We have yes, it did. No, nope. it didn't count. <laughs> put it up. Was, Everyone's gonna do shots. Was Flicka? Uh, said, can you see me mini deal with a llama stand out there like Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah, <laughs> look at the picture. Eat your time. food, Tina. You know God what? Was funny? When I was in vet tech class, we had to go to a llama farm and we had to get our own llama, bring it up to where we had to clip its hooves to kind of yeah. trim them down. And I remember when I had to catch mine, I cornered him and he sat there and stared at me and I'm like, like literally, we just sat there and stared at each other for five minutes because I was like doing this shit, swaying back and forth. I'm like, I don't know where he's gonna go. <laughs> and then the poor thing, I clipped him too close. I made him bleed. <laughs> oh, uh, seven ten. Sorry for your loss, buddy. No, it was a llama. Oh, 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 okay. No, uh, we we took James, uh, myself, uh, my beautiful wife. And my uh, father-in-law took James to a working farm out here in Ohio. And uh, so there were some llamas there. And the llamas love me. Llamas love me. They do. I don't know why. They, they love to fuck with you. But... Do. No, they don't <laughs> fuck with me. I have, Every time I meet them, they just lower their head and let me pet their, that big uh, afro that they have on. <laughs> uh, they love me. Llamas love me. Um, but I got. You mean alpacas? Them. Alpacas have the furrows. Llamas just have the. Oh, might have been a fucking I've got alpacas. I don't know. They're uppity llamas. They're yeah. all the same. They're, <laughs> same. They're South American pack animals that kind right. of suck. Bastards. They're good at doing mountains. Which is a donkey. And game. they don't want to give America oil. Fuck them. I'm gonna find that picture uh, from that trip from Michelle. A little bastards. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. You boys carry on the show. Please, oh. please. Be John, nice. I'll make you proud. Be nice to my girl. I love her. She's a sweetheart. Hi, hey, we got five minutes to say it. What's up with me and my lunacy? So, uh -huh. I like your uh, picture of Starry Starry Night in the background. Yes. Yeah, that's Jason's. He ordered that a while ago. So, it was better than some of the other pictures he had. But, yeah, he's supposed oh, to get a phone. You made him take down all his titty pics. Come on, dude. I don't care if he has titty pics. I was talking about these ones. The psychedelic right. eyeball ones and whatnot. What? Um, so you're not doing... You do not do enough mushrooms, apparently. We don't. We don't do drugs. We don't even drink. That's he and terrible. I both, God. How is it terrible? We chose to be sober. I like you guys a lot, but that's the worst shit I've ever heard in my life. It's not what we, we both did our I am literally going to drink for you. And if I wasn't out of mushrooms, I'd eat them right now for you. So. Well, gee, thanks. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, we slept. We're sober. <laughs> Just letting you know. 
Sober. God, that's the worst. I've never heard that word in my life. That that's the worst word. I, that's like calling me a fucker. God, you are a fucker. Say that. Don't say that word again. Fucker. No, you can say fucker all you want. Don't say sober. That's fucking. You want you well when you're not drinking in the fucking morning, you're a sober fucker. So that's as bad as two devil ducks like kissing or something. Oh, we don't need to bring those out. Y'all are Navy. It's all right. I'm Navy. He's not. He has never served. And that's fine. But we Devil both Dogs? had a... No, we... I wasn't talking about your man. I was talking about oh. Devil Dogs. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. No. But we both chose to go our own route. That's fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with going sober at all. Like, yes, some people can't do it. But it's not something to be ashamed of or chastise god this is the worst conversation I've ever it's to be applauded yeah it's to be applauded honestly because honestly you're the type of person that when you get on the liver list they're gonna be like fuck that dude <laughs> i'm just saying dude there's nothing wrong with being sober except you do not enjoy everything else that drunk people enjoy hey blue did you see Oh, congrats. When that happened this past weekend? Or today? Past. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I can't keep track yeah. of the week anymore. I'm so busy at my job. I worked over 90 hours in two weeks. Yeah, that's so, called being fucking sober. sober. It's called making money to pay my go. fucking bills. Ah, Just gotcha. Saying. Can you see him? Yeah, I see it. Wow. So you meet up with the beautiful woman and she puts down a potty pad for you. Thank God. <laughs> That's my cat. <laughs> His name's Mayhem. Oh, Mayhem? Nice. Mayhem. Yeah. Like, yes, ma'am? No, Mayhem. Oh, Mayhem. Oh, I thought oh, you said ma'am. I was like, what? <laughs> That that's a very demented name for a cat. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, that's like him naming. He named his Cinder, and every time I see her, it's Satan. Cinder, like Cinderella. <laughs> I would have oh, called wow. her. Uh, I would have called her uh, food bait, but snack. That's better yet. Her name, Halloween snack. Interesting. But yeah, no. It, I'm I'm the one with the dog, unfortunately. Well, no, I'm not unfortunately. Yeah. He's got the cat. <laughs> hmm. She's a sweetheart. Hey, at least he likes it. pussies. That's okay. Ew. Mm. Star. Who said ew? Did uh, he say ew? He said hi -o. Oh, okay. I thought he said ew. I was like, oh. Oh, all right. Well, Tim, he spelt the state you're from. He should have just said winning. Sure. You're my no. dog, bitch. I mean, hey, go Sparta. Who the fuck cares? I, I don't care about Ohio State. I wasn't talking about Ohio State. Talking about Sparty. Like Sparty from fucking MSU? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ain't nobody care. Well, oh, they get their ass kicked. <laughs> ain't nobody care about them. Ain't nobody. When they lose, no one cares. That's right. I agree. <laughs> They're when just they, little brother. When they win, nobody cares. <laughs> when they exist, still nobody cares. <laughs> when they win, it's a miracle. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about boomer sooners. How about them sooners in Texas? Oh let's, wait. Let's not talk about the University of Oklahoma. It did not fare well today. Or the University of Texas. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey babe, can you get my pie? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I start. <laughs> Lay down. I thought you didn't do drugs. Lay down. Hi. Full pie. Yeah, pie. 
like pumpkin pie. Full of sugar and yeah, like get your endorphins running. Yeah, full of sugar. Yup, and it's worth it. Yeah, goddamn right it is. I'm jealous, but it's okay. What type of pie? It's pumpkin. I pumpkin. have yet to bring sweet potato. I gotta make sweet potato. It's funny because in my house, my mom has to make at least six pies. She has to make six sweet potatoes. Two, two of them are for the family, and four of them are for my dad. <laughs> wow. Well, at least your dad's getting more pie than the rest of the family. <laughs> Dude, there's been times where I will cut a slice from one, and he, like, mean mugs the shit out of me while I'm doing it. I'm like, <laughs> it's going to be mine anyways. Oh, my God. Thank oh, me. please keep just talk. Just keep talking. That's so no, great. you're drunk. I don't want to talk to you. No, the fact that your dad's getting more pie than the rest of the family, but the family loves the pie. That's great. It's it's awesome. Yeah. I enjoy it. Tim, you're drunk. Go home. You have no idea. Go to bed. <laughs> hey, there are no crickets. It must have been a PBR night. PBR, my ass. PBR doesn't make you that stupid. Marines do. Oh, wait, excuse me. Oh, it's a bush latte. No, I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah. It's a bush latte. <laughs> the latte. <laughs> it's the, the poor man's drink. <laughs> College struggle. <laughs> Appar apparently, if you mix a bush latte with a Mountain Dew, it's supposed to be pretty good. Um, Ew, I'm good. They don't want my <laughs> donation. Huh? You want a piece of it? Mayhem. Okay. Shots. They called for shots. All right. Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh, here you go. Here's the Wonder Twins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Cinderella. Free mm -hmm. long lobby. You are late to party. Hey, here's the Cinderella because John is back. Long, man. Share it to your story, your personal page, share any groups you belong to. It helps us out tremendously, man. Uh, we don't get paid. Right. I've lost. In six years, I've probably lost fifty grand during this shit. My wife asked me pie. to grab her pie. I'm not going to the kitchen. Well, she, it can't be a cherry pie. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Too soon. It was probably a, it was probably a chocolate cream pie. A Boston cream pie. No, <laughs> you know what he was saying. Yeah, I know. Wow, way to play that off, Blue. Boston cream pie. <laughs> Still can't full, get over full that. of the sauce. Still can't sure. get over that Ted skit in that movie. Like, oh, girls so can't be hot. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh yeah, give it to me. Hada, 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 khakis. Your khakis or khakis? Khakis. <laughs> Oh my lord! I used to have a girl in the Navy. It was so funny. She um, one day she asked me, she's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go get some pie. You want some?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure. I'll I'll take a pie." She's like, "What do you want on it?" I'm like, "Pumpkin." <laughs> and she's like, "No, pizza." Like the rest of the world calls. It. I'm like, "Yes, us normal folk call it pizza." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was like gonna hey. split it. <laughs> half pumpkin, hey. half mushroom. <laughs> I just got to shout out, guys. If you haven't been paying attention to all of our old buddies that jump on this show, um, Militant Me and Apollo Blaze, they are putting out some fucking badass music right now. Nice. So well, bring it back on at some point. And we're getting I the think we need to we're because, getting... honestly, the, the music they're putting out there, it really speaks Hi, to Michelle. the 100%, and it speaks a lot to... Oh, God, that beautiful woman. And it speaks a lot to, uh, you know, everyone that goes through loss or, you know, has feelings of wanting Let's to... Let's not be uh, sad. Let's be happy. It's October. Yeah. yeah. I agree. But here's the thing. These guys are, like, pouring their souls out in music to make people feel better about themselves. Ah, and I fucking love it. And there's nothing better than listening to 
people that are out there trying to beat their own fucking demons. And amen for uh, our fellow brothers, Militant Me and Apollo Blaze. So. Mm-hmm. Got to say it. You guys, I want to see the the uh, honest trailer for Halloween 1978 or 20? 20... Fuck yeah! Which one? Oh, Which one? I didn't get to hear the last. Uh, the original Halloween 1978 or the newest one 2018? Both. I mean, I, the newest one. I too. love uh, Rob Zombie's version, but yeah, yeah. Right the original. Yeah, that was absolutely the worst one ever done. Yeah. Right. You have no taste in music or movie. I don't know. <laughs> Settle that's down, like, Blue. That's like saying the remake of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was good. That was terrible. Right. It was oh, just on was... TV the other day. Me and my wife that were watching. So mad. I, that made me so mad. I, Dad and I were like, we should ask for our right. money back. They <laughs> used Warshack from uh, uh, Watchmen as. Freddy, and it was fucking terrible. Halloween. I was so excited. sequel to the original Halloween, but not Halloween 2, and definitely not this other movie called Halloween 2. Okay, wait. Let me start over. Before you see the third <laughs> Halloween 2, uh, put on Halloween, Silver Shamrock. Revisit <laughs> Halloween, the first one, not the new one, and not the uh. other movie called Halloween. Oh, boy, this franchise is a mess. It's Halloween night in a small town, and everyone is horny. Like, super horny. Okay, first I rip your clothes off, then you rip my clothes off, then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. Uh, I know you're joking, but Lindsay's a child, you creep. Settle but down, year, John. A killer is on the loose, and he's inventing or cementing every slasher cliche we'll get for the next 40 years. Like wearing a creepy mask, making spooky phone calls, <laughs> only targeting suburban teenagers, only letting the final virgin girl survive, <laughs> and eating dogs. Dog. He got hungry. Sorry, what's that? Myers is the only one who actually eats the dogs? Probably for the best. Before Jamie Lee Curtis was a scream queen, her mom was in Psycho, making her a mere scream princess. Watch her goody two-shoes Laurie try to survive the night with her friend Annie, an a-hole. Oh, Laurie. Scared another one away. And Linda, (laughs) star of the drinking game. Take a shot every time Linda says totally. Totally, totally, totally. Totally, 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 then somehow Batmaning yeah. into thin air when they're briefly distracted. Hey, creep. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Lori, <laughs> the blue man's outside. Look. <laughs> But Michael is just a monster made by the film's real Frankenstein, Loomis, a psychiatrist with a very loose grasp of psychiatry. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up. Who doesn't exactly follow the Hippocratic Oath. Oh, cool. Really messed up this kid's face at some point, and doesn't even obey handicapped parking signs. Create an unstoppable killing machine? Okay, fine. But you are parked outside a medical facility, sir. Where is your placard? <laughs> so That's strap ridiculous. in with one of the greatest horror films of all time. From Carpenter's masterfully tense directing and original score. To Deborah Hill's razor-focused writing and production. To Jamie Lee Curtis's star turn against a brand new horror icon. Just be sure to follow the upcoming sequel's lead and pretend uh. none of the other movies ever happen. Trust us. That one was terrible. Starring. That one was amazing. Shit. 
Lori strode up to the wrong house, that's for sure. Huh? Huh? Right? This guy knows what I'm talking uh, about. Come yeah. on. Dr. Evil. <laughs> Casey Affleck. <laughs> she was literally. She was my wife. Sorry, well, he got himself a hacksaw, and he kissed his wife and his two children goodbye, and then he proceeded. Where are we? Huh? The horny friend. <laughs> the somewhat less horny, but still kind of horny friend. And the mystery creeper in the back seat of this car while Michael drives. Michael, look out. There's someone else in the back of the car. It's probably Loomis. <laughs> Adventures in babysitting. <laughs> you know what the uh, real horror is? Living in a home where your parents only buy you the Kirkland Select knockoff comic books. Laser Man. Neutron Man. I can understand why. Tarantula Man. Worst oh, yeah, cinematic universe ever. Ever best apple fritter, <laughs> terrible. I love it. It's so funny. That's great, right? I love it. <laughs> Her mom was in H2O, Halloween H2O. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's seen uh, the Dahmer thing on Netflix? Anybody? Maybe. Yep, nope. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. I don't and, Tim would have seen it. It is pissing off everyone, and it's great. I love it. There's one episode God forbid I forbid you put on Blue, you realistic see shit. Yeah, I, I legit spent a good hour after watching one certain episode just bawling. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. stop crying. It's, it's out of shit. Yeah. Hey, John. Yes, Tim. Since you're not keeping up with comments on 10:28, will you post one? I thought I was keeping up with comments. He was keeping up with comments. 1028. Scott. Ain't, oh. ain't that your comment? I used to own one of the old farm railroad built in 1840. No, up, up before that. That's 1828, right? Or 1028? That's what no, you're looking for. Go up. Two Look more. Up. Two more. That's the one. Oh, right. That's all that matters. Okay. You're rubbish. I love you, but Jesus, man. Hey. I feel the sleeping pills he was using. <laughs> or forgive me. Hey, but... when, my, when my best friend actually pays attention. Oh, there you go. To something, yeah, that's that. the most important thing. So. I mean, this we've only been friends since 15 minutes into the first episode was all I needed. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Uh, the Dahmer's insane. I mean, it's it's. Hey, that it makes me out. feel dirty I in fifteen minutes from that dude. Dirty, so. Literally fifteen minutes from that dude. Like, and when when the lady was listening to what was going on, I'm like, e I, I, I'm done." And then they went into the other room, and I'm like, "Hey, there's that other guy in that drum." Right? How about this shit? Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> All the one, I, mean, I know I don't I haven't seen the movie. I remember one story I, I remember from the whole thing when it was happening. Uh was that uh yeah the uh Milwaukee MPD Milwaukee Police Department actually let one of the victims go. He was run he had ran out into the street bleeding. Yeah, him. it was a young 14 year old. He ran out, the neighbors had seen him, and he Dahmer convinced them, Oh, he's 19, he's my drunk boyfriend. Right. Oh, yeah. And, and he, they handed yeah. him back right over. So yeah. the, the the police department was scrutinized heavily for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, well, the police department's like beat the shit out of the entire uh well just saying. Just saying, Milwaukee, they we Milwaukee. they definitely were. I mean, come on, guys. When I left Reynoldsburg as a crazy ass skateboarder, getting picked on all the time, you still do. Marine Corps. You're right. still but a crazy I, ass skateboarder. You still get You're picked right. on all the time. So <laughs> back when when I went in the Marine Corps in '92, the city I left, Reynoldsburg, did not have a black police officer. They did not have a black police officer until 1992, the year I left that city. Here's a and guys, this is no surprise to anyone that 90 percent of these suburbs. Hey, guess what? The racist. So, yeah, we know. 
back then. I think that's I mean, a bullshit statement, but thank you. It's not a bullshit statement. Back it then, is. it definitely was a true to fucking life statement. Mm -hmm. Now we're in. Now everyone's integrated. I hope. I mean, but back then, that is not a bullshit statement. All right, fine. Back then. Now we're dealing with right now. And so right now that is no applicable. So we're moving on. And oh, we're going to do shots. Oh, and, and uh, your pussy blue is what is your team shot? Yet. Blue has not done a God shot. Damn it. Oh. Uh, I know she doesn't drink anymore. I'm not a re retard, but we need a toast from her so we can do our Ridiculous. Flick a bean. Hey, here's the question. Shush. Who's Flick a bean? Who had to change your name because they got well, we covered posted on here. Facebook? So how about not worry about that and let uh, Blue do her shot? Toast. How about that? John. Uh, thank you, John. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 you're just late to the party, bro. So no worries. But Blue's got the call for the toast, so Blue's going to do it. Toast it. That beautiful girl. Ugh. Talk about bad timing. <laughs> yeah, very bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's my favorite month. It's the month of October. Um, Happy Indigenous Peoples Month as well. I hope. There you go. Um, I, I come from the lineage of Cherokee. Um, but this month, it's a good month, you know, to celebrate being spooky and to be open to, you know, the otherworldly. But also be aware of what's also in this world. Be aware of your family, your friends, and those who care for you. So make good choices. If you need help, definitely go get help. Definitely reach out to those who care. We all care. Amen. And, uh, yeah, slancha. Slancha. Love that, Blue. That was awesome. Excuse me. Oh, so, uh, I just want to do this one thing. If you guys want to bounce out from it, that's fine. But here's the thing that really pissed me off. I caught it. It was New York Times, Washington Post, uh, Fox News. It blew up everywhere. Everyone not listening to the whole story. FBI uncovers number of undercounts number of times armed citizens have thwarted active shooting incidents. By how much? Do you want to guess? Way too many. 35%. Yep. Here's my point. God, remember it used to be the FBI was just like the best thing in the world. Like it was gangsters like those are the good guys right yeah they were awesome they took care of the criminals they did this they did that and the more you dig into history and the more you dig into it they're yeah. horrible they're female body inspectors that's they, all I, I guarantee you right now the cia has been for the last six months even after trump got off us they've been doing a fucking Hula party, a booga party, the shirts and fucking hey, we're getting all kinds of money. We're gonna do some good stuff because nobody's looking at us because the FBI is so fucked. That used to be one of the most trusted institutions in American history, right? I mean, come on, it was like you thought the F FBI is on the case. Oh, it's good, yeah, they're right? figuring out all the fucking world now. Problems. It's become you're just another wing of a horrible bureaucracy that is just wherever the wind swings is that's where you go. You have no moral compass because you're the politicians who couldn't stand up for, you couldn't stand up to give you your, your budget and you couldn't stand up to them. That's basically what happened and the FBI became shit. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. And not Dan Green, the, the good and honest people that, that do actually do that work. I'm not Dan Green, the HRT teams who are filled with a fuck ton of Marines. Um, I'm not taking you guys down, but you know what? How about you guys quit and find me? <laughs> you, you said quit. you're not taking guys down. 
No, quit, quit, quit. Leave that. John, down. come on. No, you don't need to wait for. You need to work for HRT. If you get hired for HRT, you don't need to work for them. Mm-hmm. Plenty of other people. Against. They're gonna hire those, you and pay you more those. money than HRT and the FBI is gonna pay you. So just stop. Just abandon them. Make the FBI known to everybody what it is. Mm-hmm. It's become a partisan governmental yeah, we, organization. It just cares about itself and its budget. I mean, come on, man. I mean, Jesus. Hillary Clinton's under investigation, and the head of the FBI meets, and the attorney general meets with Bill Clinton while he's getting a haircut. Come Really? It, look, I'm not object to hitting the Republicans either, because trust me, they're not that much better. They're really not. I mean, when you have a president who can't pronounce nuclear properly, you know you got. Mm-hmm. But you know, you know, and you got fucking Cheney, uh, uh, Penguin, right? The closest guy you got was <laughs> Penguin from the DC uh, universe. Ah, uh, I got. It. How do you, how do you make a guy who you shot in the face apologize to you? Here's how. You've got so much power and so many, so much knowledge where bodies are buried and where I can put your body. You have to apologize to me. Say or, sorry for my incompetence to fire a gun properly. Yeah, and shoot you in the face. And shoot you in the face. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a quail, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fucking bird with no meat on it. I didn't hear yeah, a lot we, of things. It, it, we do that a lot in like Texas, that, you know. You see, you guys like that. <laughs> Seed the power, right? They 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 just rocket the power. Oh, yeah, you know why? Is because the guys who are at that top want bitches. They don't want me and you. They definitely don't want blue. That would end up a disaster. She would just, you know. Um, well, I'm already telling my boyfriend. I'm like, you better hope I never meet your your boss because I'm <laughs> <laughs> exactly lack of leadership. Sorry, ass bitch. Exactly, exactly. I mean, there's something to that. They they love to advance their stupid agenda because they know that nobody else is gonna come at them. And the second they find anybody who will put up with that shit, they're like, "Oh yeah, you should probably leave. Here, here's your papers. Like, go do the reverse or something." That's true. Good times, baby. It's not even what everyone thinks about. It's just fucking frustrating. Oh. I might have to do this one time. Uh, let's see if I can work this out for you guys. I'll make it tough. How about that? I'll do it Halloween kind of ish. Uh. See how you guys do. Maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit more. Uh, wow, this sounds like really fucking dirty. Like, yeah, be fun, be fun. I don't even know where you're going with this. Yeah. Same. No, that's not gonna work. Nope, not gonna work. Oh, the pot blow, Jack Oh, that's easy. We got a couple more. I got. Uh, I got to do the uh, background thing. There we go. Well, we could grab another set like green lights or something or purple lights and just wrap. Well, no, because then we have to. Wait, no, yeah, we can. All right, so guess. That movie. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go pee. You're drunk. Go home. You have what? no idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. I'm looking right at you. I have a pretty damn good idea. <laughs> I'm not even in frame right now. Come on. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Name the movie. She said. Oh. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. All right. Oh, I thought you were like talking about him. No. Oh my God, Blue, you are so evil. 
I, I mean, I really like you thinking about me, so thank you. Oh, uh, let's see here. Okay, I come to the next one. Not the hair. Mm. Well, somebody's taking a piss. What is what is that? What is going it's on? Him taking a piss. Jesus Christ! Are you fucking serious? Hey, at least I didn't hit my head on the wall. I wish you I did. did. I'm I wish sorry. I really did. did. To be honest I with did. you. Jesus. Hey, what an asshole! You told me how to join this time. I didn't tell you to do anything. I always love you were here, but like you don't have to piss live on air without. I don't know. The mute, mute button light? didn't fucking work. I tried to mute it. And well, then it you take work. your headphones off and you put them down. It's not exactly rocket, rocket science. John, you know me. Mm. Really? Happy Halloween, everybody. All right. Next. All right. All right. I'm going to read it off. <sighs> Eye of the Newt. And toe of the frog, bull of the bat, and the tug of the dog, adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and owl's swing, for a charm of powerful trouble like hell broth, boil and bubble, double double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Hamlet. Well, all right, yeah, it's Shakespeare. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hamlet and Shakespeare. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, well, at least it wasn't the fucking stupid ass. Uh, oh no, it's Macbeth. Not everyone Hamlet. Everyone thinks Macbeth. it's like a great show. It's not. So. It's not Hamlet. It's Macbeth. I remember now. My bad. Yes, you nailed it. All right, let's try another one. <clears throat> That's too easy. Son of a bitch. No. <sighs> ah, that's rubbish. Yeah, terrible. Like uh, they, they weren't. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, One hundred five best Halloween quotes. Let's do that. All right. So. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it doesn't give the answers though. That's the fucking. All right, that's fucking done. That's stupid. Let's try that again. God, I love listening to you talk to yourself. I need I answers. I need answers. They were actually Don't really good me. movie quotes for for Hollywood, but they didn't give the answers, which is kind of stupid. Oh, yeah. So. Halloween quotes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Halloween is just final weeks for parents. And what was it? Trick or treat. Final weeks for parents. Who said it? Not the no. Is Who it trick or treat? Yeah. Halloween is final weeks for parents. Who's the comic? It's comic. These are comics. Um, think think of a a very uh, kind of PG comic. Father and Hobbs? No. The father from 10 Things I Hate About You? Mm -hmm. Nope. No, come on. Robin Williams? No. Nope. Robin Williams is far from PG. Yeah, I remember. Even when he was sober. <laughs> finals week for parents. Think about a comic who's all about the food and all about the family and Bill Cosby. Yeah, okay. No. Pudding pops and putting drugs in drinks. Yes. No, come on. Oh yeah. He's a it's white. I said Cosby. he's white. All right, he's white. Chevy Chase. No. No, no. I'm He's that's even worse. 
<laughs> yes, he's from Indiana. Indiana. No, I'm fucking Jersey. Here's a, you know. He's from Indiana. He's got a whole stable of girls, uh, unfortunately for him. But uh, yeah, Halloween is yeah, just so much for parents. The the dude that said you can do it. Nobody's got it, right? No, Rob yeah. Schneider. Yeah, Rob yeah, Schneider. Schneider. No. All yeah, right, blue. 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 Um, let me give you one more hint. Um, Hold on. Why do you give blue one more hint? Well, it's like because I love her, and you guys are. She likes white men, men, and you're gonna nail it. I don't know if you know. No, confused. Huh, Tim? Sit down and shut up. See. I'm just gonna shut up because Mari's sitting down. Good, and good idea. Yeah. Very good idea. Yeah, I'm listening. All right, Blue. Mm. Um, he is the most G comedian out there. He talks about food, talks about his family. Um, he's just that guy. His his main shtick. Uh, stamp is about food and our interactions with food and traveling and, and and dealing with people in other countries and how they deal with food. He's a uh, towhead, little hefty, if you will. Oh, uh, uh I want to say Enrique. No, Gabe. Enrique Iglesias. Or, no, no, Gabriel Iglesias. No. He's, so white, no. He's, He's so not white. white at all. Come He's on. white as fuck. White Jeff as fuck. Dunham? Nope. No. Not Jeff Dunham. Is he, is he like also like a food critic too? Mm, nope. Nope. Okay. Um, shit. G-rated. Loves family food. Hot pockets. I'm, yeah. I'm drawing a blank. Hot I don't know. Hot pocket. Hot pockets. Can I, can I answer it? John, no, I'm gonna let them go down. for it. Take it from her. Nope, not doing it. All right, Jim Gaffigan. Oh, yeah, I never would have. Oh, no, that. you were supposed to say it, they were supposed to answer it first. You, you were better off saying pasty white guy. <laughs> no, I Jim Gaffigan's a fucking beast, he's, he's a pasty beast. white guy. He yeah, is a pasty yeah. white guy for sure. Uh, but he's not very uh, G rated uh, though. <laughs> yeah, he's not G rated. No. No, he is. He looked at uh <laughs> seven tenths, but he's like white pockets. <laughs> I love it. That wasn't funny at all. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking young Frankenstein. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're thinking Gene Wilder. From Blue Guy. <laughs> <laughs> what knockers. <laughs> what knockers. Are we going okay. to roll in the hay now, Doctor? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can find another <laughs> stupid Halloween movie. Uh, hold on, I'll do it. I'll do it this way. You know that's the original stuff from the original Frankenstein movie in that movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stay close to the candles. <laughs> wasn't wasn't your hump on the other side? What hump? What are you, what are you talking about? I have a hump. I have a hump. <laughs> All right, we'll do. Abby normal. You're a new. What is the stream? Because why not? That was you know. Facebook and everywhere else on the internet that would have me. That time I've had the opportunity to use live streaming software that's available. Once I discovered Streamyard and found how easy it is, I was sold. This is an ad. The following trailer is really Yeah, it's probably a job ad. Spoilers for a 24-year-old movie. Oh God. This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of Brawlhalla. Hello. 
from the man whose mere name conjures up visions of horror, except for that one Meryl Streep movie he made. Thank you. Comes the maestro's yeah. meta deconstruction of the horror genre. There was no movie. There was only her life. Uh, the maestro's second meta deconstruction <laughs> of the horror genre. The good one. Scream. Uh. Return to a simpler time when people left all of their doors unlocked. No one had cell phones. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? Huh? True crime podcast were books. Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Somebody was going to write a book about it. And without Twitter, movie dorks had to get creative when it came to harassing women. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. Jason's mother, Mrs. Voorhees, was the original killer. Wrong answer. No! <laughs> if this movie were made today, the mask would be an anime avatar. I love how he sat there just taking it. The virginest awesome. virgin who ever virgin. Like, don't break out at any point, though. Don't try. But this sweet, innocent yeah. girl is cursed with the worst social group of all time. Rose McGowan? I mean, Tatum, Tatum. who's more concerned with oh, partying yeah, yeah. than helping She's her friend. Prompt to party tonight. My house. Are you serious? Come on, son. For me? Who is dealing with way scarier stuff off camera than yeah. all of Billy, a big Johnny <laughs> Depp enthusiast, <laughs> this Green Junkies fan. Obviously, they don't watch enough movies. This is standard horror movie stuff. There's a formula to it. A very on, simple Kennedy, formula. Tell. This Cox. When I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat top of Lord ass. Now! And Stu, a guy who does some of the most upsetting mouth stuff and horror since Ichi the Killer. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Never alone. <laughs> yeah. You know, come to think of it, <laughs> everyone fair, at the school right? is a monster. Fairness would be to rip your insides out. They found Principal Hill and gutted and hung from the goalpost. Let's go over the play prime now! What? Hey. Except the cop. Weirdly, he's the only cool one. You're underage, son. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a good time. Suit up with a slasher <laughs> who's all killer, no filler. Because while some horror icons spend their time talking trash, <laughs> or doing spooky vanishing that acts, bitch. This ghost face killer just bought the first mask they saw on the way to school. They sell this costume every five and dime in the state. Giving you no safe spaces as he stalks you all over town. From the shrubbery outside of your own house to the ladies room. To the grocery store hey, in broad hey, daylight. Uh, we have a slasher on our four. And busts into every fight, night first, without a plan beyond stabby stabby. You gotta respect the hustle, even if everyone is constantly beating the crap out of him. <laughs> oh, thank you. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> he'll make every This is literally so party up some Jiffy Pop and revisit mm. the classic that's packed full of nods to other horror movies. Would you call me? Huh? Not your friend. <laughs> and when they can't think of a nod, they just say the name of a horror movie you like out loud. The Exorcist was on. It's the town that dreaded sundown. How many hell rays? Nightmare on Elm Street. Silence of the Lambs. Terror Train. The Howling Psycho. Friday the Thirteenth. Prom Life. Candyman. Carrie. Halloween. What movie is this from? I spit on your garage. In this innovative slasher that rescued a genre that was drowning in bad sequels and remakes, she would never be in its because own sequels is, and remakes. Guess, yeah. But still, it not only saved horror at the time. It managed to kill off the spoof movie too. Do you like spoofy movies? You should see how we pee. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Starring. I know who your mom did last summer. Never been killed. I'll be there for you when the blood starts to pour. Oh, skeet skeet, Mr. Ulrich. In the garage, I feel safe. Mountain Dewey. <laughs> like zoinks? Am I a g -g 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 ghost face? Slice principles. And Mark Wahlberg talks to animals. Say hello to your mother. Okay, donkey. Scary movie. <laughs> what? That's what they were actually going to call it.
You know what's really the scariest part of the movie? This cheerleader who takes a dump, then sticks her finger in her mouth without washing her oh, hands. Yeah. Uh, I remember this episode is sponsored by Google Play. <laughs> I was so grossed out when I was like, ew. Oh, fucking went to the bathroom, didn't even wash her hands, she put her finger in her mouth. <laughs> ew. Oh, I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back, boys. Uh, I'll go to be here, babe, talk. Uh, yeah, it's, put 710 yeah. in your spot, and uh, yeah, I'll be back in five mics ish. Terrible. How the there we go. So, how's the weekend? How's the weekend? <laughs> well, just begun. Yeah, it started. This is the most we've got to speak to him. Uh, where did the other one go? Oh, I don't have no idea. <laughs> so what's new with you? Mm, not much. Just Oh, I moved to Pennsylvania. Oh, nice. Still here in Ohio. <laughs> ah, okay. Yep. So blue goes from Michigan to Ohio. Yep, and uh, I go up there too. Most times we uh, meet up in the middle. You know, on our regular days, we go to Ann Arbor and we just hang out there. Uh, the Midwest version of California. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So you're a Nagy's fan, huh? Big time. I'm named How are they doing this year? I have no idea. I haven't have been watching them. We're three and two. Yikes. <laughs> we're, bare, we're losing to Alabama by four points. By four points? Yeah. Well, I'm hoping you guys get the victory. It'd be nice. <laughs> well, for sure. I was hoping Ohio State would lose too, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so either. Uh, I, was hoping, I was hoping Michigan would lose too, but I don't think that's going to happen. Nope. Yeah, Blue and I might uh, agree to disagree about uh, who's going to win the Ohio State Michigan game. <laughs> oh, it's a house divided type thing? Very much so. <laughs> Let me guess you're for Michigan, she's for Ohio State? No, it's the opposite. Wait, give me that problem. Who the fuck said I was for Ohio State? <laughs> Oh, there'd be no way in hell. <laughs> I was trying to be funny, Blue. Har 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 har. The other guy just left. <laughs> now, I don't. I don't know what happened to Tim. He just dipped out like Oreo cookies and milk. And no, Oreo work cookies and milk are worth having around. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He's drunk. Go home. Go sleep. <laughs> That's okay. So, how many people were at the wedding? Was it just like a small thing, courtside? What was it? Very small. Fair enough. My first one, too, it was my ex-husband and I, two of our friends, and one of my friend's husband. That was it. In a court that I didn't want it to be in. Hmm. 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 I didn't do it. Oh, I, I thought think, you said something. No, I think John's going off on Tim. Oh, is he? I think. What are you doing? Like hearing them? No, he he posted something in the chat. Oh. Like like what the fuck? I call bullshit, bro. Come grab him. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he had to poop and couldn't figure out how to mute the button, so he left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barbara, they're coming for you, Barbara. Look, there's one now. Barbara. Barbara, they're coming for you. 
Sounds like it's from the Bride of Frankenstein. You know, honestly, I can't say I've seen that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Flick of Beam. You can uh, give us a clue on that one. We can discuss on that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's just so drunk. He's so drunk and he needs to go to bed. And then when he gets drunk, it's impossible to talk to him. Because mm -hmm. he goes, he's like a he's like a four way street. He'll just run through the four way. <laughs> the hint the hint is it's an old movie filmed between Ohio and PA. Psycho, no. I don't know. Night of the Living Dead. Birds. Oh wait, no, Birds was down south. I thought Birds was in San Francisco. Was it? I can't remember. Well, down south, San Francisco counts, you know, out west, warmer than Michigan. Well, yeah, that's where you're at, California Midwest. <laughs> Pretty much. Our Ann Arbor is uh, uh, it's something else. It's <laughs> it's an interesting town, needless to say. It's a people watching town. It is a very people watching town. Oh, I used to just, yeah. I would go on dates and like I would just be like, "You want to walk downtown?" They're like, "What? What's going on?" I'm like, "Oh, everybody's coming out of the bars. You want to see this?" <laughs> like, you would just watch these people just waltzing by or crashing their scooters in into bushes. <laughs> ah, uh, cracked me up. Like there was this one time, this girl she was on a scooter with her friend, and all you hear is, "It's my birthday." And then she crashed into a bush. I'm like, oh, did you hear that? It's her birthday. <laughs> the, the first week I was in Boone, I went to downtown Boone. And App State's like five minutes from downtown. And my uh, friend was like, this is going to be a trip. Just get You're going to get a kick out of this. I'm like, okay. Football game let out. Every drunken uh, idiot in the world hit downtown. Yep. We were just sitting there on a bench. Yep. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I've watched. I've, I've I've even proposed to Jason at times. I'm like, I should just set up a bench here and be like a dollar for advice or bad advice. <laughs> and I was like, I would put it there on Friday and Saturday nights and Thursdays, and just have people just come up and ask me for stupid advice. Be like, should I go out with him? No. Next, give me a dollar. <laughs> oh, like the old Lucy thing from Peanuts. Yeah. Like dress up like Lucy. <laughs> like dress up like Lucy. <laughs> And if that people pay me for advice, it doesn't have to be right. You could you could have a, a seven ten B Schroeder play a mini piano. Oh yeah, you could be Schroeder playing the the little piano. Funny thing is, I do know how to play piano. Oh, so, wow. we could we could make it work. <laughs> if you if you want to see something interesting, go to YouTube and look up. Uh, Racist Charlie Brown. Yeah, you're in for a treat. <laughs> I seen the one where it was Saturday Night Live, and it was Bill Hader as a uh, Charlie Brown. Oh no, th <laughs> no. this is uh, the actual cartoon, uh -huh. voiced, voiced over. Oh yeah, it, it's a uh, Ghetto Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh Jesus! And That's he's cool. waiting. Instead of waiting for a letter in the mail, he's waiting for his welfare check. Oh, here's the uh, the answer for that movie. The original 1968 version of The Night of the Living Dead. I can't say I remember seeing it, but... We have it on HBO Max. Say, oh, hi, yeah, buddy. say hi, buddy. What's your cat's name? Mayhem. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, because I thought it was ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, a peculiar name for a kitty. Yeah. Don't call me ma'am. Shit. It has been a couple times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple times. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, my heartburn. What'd you do? What did you do? Go to uh, uh, Waffle House again?
Bluey, you froze. Uh, it's just me, so I don't know what's going on. Well, hello. Somebody's back. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry. I accidentally pushed the back button, and I meant to say more on the, uh, the uh, options here on the phone. Oh, no worries. Hey, sorry. I was gone for a minute. Uh... I was apologizing to Kyle, not you. Oh, oh, oh. no worries. No worries at all. We were talking, and I accidentally, I went to go push the chat, and I accidentally, it's right under, right on top of the back button, and I accidentally pushed the back button. Sure you weren't drinking? Shut up. Sipping on some thither. And then I left him here by himself, and I was like, oh, he's all by himself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What? You're home. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so we we think we're we're taking bets on whether or not Tim fell asleep on the shitter. We're taking bets that Tim probably went to fucking bed. Yeah, probably. Or to the Waffle House. No. I mean, yeah, it's possible. No, drunken person paradise for me personally was going to Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, Taco Bell. Uh -huh. Ooh. Okay, hey. I have a golden asshole. I don't have the shit problems that come with Taco Bell. So, seven ten. Does she have a uh, golden asshole? No comment. Uh, <laughs> that's a yes. <laughs> it's there was this. It was this there. one time in band camp. Yeah. Is this one time in boot camp? <laughs> uh, see, I didn't have that opportunity. I did. I was all dudes. They were ugly and just. It's like, you know when you're straight. If you know you're straight, if you didn't figure it out before you went to boot camp, you figure it out at boot camp. Yeah, pretty much. As you stare at a bunch of dicks, you're like, "That's the fucking ugliest shit I've ever seen in my life." I well, that. I saw a lot of lovely women, and I'm not but, gay, so. Yeah, but that's just that's weird, right? Like that's not oh uh, that's not weird. It's just like women are beautiful, guys are ugly. I don't care how hot no, no. there's there's some ugly pussy out there. Trust you me, I've seen it. Oh, I've seen some meat hairs, no doubt, but oh yes, babe. Could you please give me a couple more? Walking in the wind. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, I love you. Got family stuff to do. Got all to right, go. brother. Night, good night. night. Much love. She says good night. Yeah. Oh, good, good night. <laughs> good morning. Doesn't know how to handle the, 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 the baseball playoffs. Well, does she? Well, they're winning eight to two right now. Well, yeah. you should wake her up and slap her on the ass. No, 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 no. See, he's a smart man. No. You know, don't wake us up. Don't wake us up. <laughs> I'll have pound. I'll have pound cake and breakfast in the morning. I'm good. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Love you guys. I'm out of here. All right. Good Bye. night. Sleep well. All right, Blue. What do you want to talk about? What, what? 
I'm up to talk about whatever. Tim is fucking asleep. No, he's <laughs> not. He's not. Get back on. Get back on. Okay. You sure you want to deal with his drunk ass some more? I'm oh, just saying. He's my Marine. He's my boy. He's my boy. He's my... Yeah, absolutely. No, um... Oh, I know you didn't do some. Uh, you wanted to do some uh, Halloween uh, cryptid stuff, and you didn't do it right. Mm. Yeah, no, actually, I got kicked off of Facebook for uh, three days <sighs> because um, somebody made a comment on like how they posted something where a guy said my drunk roommate came home one night and kicked my kitten, so I beat his ass for thirty minutes. I left a comment. Saying, yeah, if somebody kicked my dog, I'd probably beat his ass for 30 minutes, too. And they booked me as threatening. And I was like, wait oh. a minute. I didn't make a threat to anybody. I just said in general. But you'll let anybody say, oh, somebody would catch these hands. Like, and then they... Apparently, they were... it's unacceptable to fight people who beat the animals, right? Is that what I guess said? so. And so I was supposed to be on... Uh, I was supposed to be disabled for two days. So I, I tried to get on earlier today and they disabled me again because of a blood picture from a Halloween picture five years ago that I had. And I was like, this shit is getting ridiculous. So I haven't been able to post anything, but yeah, I put, I've posted a couple. I bought like about four or five books of cryptids and whatnot. So there's more to come there. There'll be plenty tomorrow. To make up for the three days I was gone. Jesus. I'm going to get a picture here real quick. Send me the pic of Carl and Emmy. It was uh, so. And am uh, I surprised? No. <laughs> so uh, it was my, my uh, father-in-law's birthday today, right? And so he had a grill out, and uh, and he drunkenly taught me to make a cheesecake last night. It was great. It was a great experience. Like it was so funny. Like I didn't think he was gonna make me do it, but I think it was one of his ways of torturing me. Mm. Um, he's like, "All right, so I know you're hammered. I know you're drinking. We're gonna make a cheesecake. And I'm gonna teach you how to my cheesecake." Sounds silly, but the cheesecake that we're talking about was. Involved in mine and uh, Michelle's wedding, we had that mm -hmm. little stupid cake, right? You have to do the cutting thing, but we had six cheesecakes that this guy made. They were crushed. There was a crumb left, right? This is good cheesecake. So he's teaching me how to do this. I am hammered. And he knows <laughs> it, he's making me go through the numbers and doing it, and it's so much fun. He he knows I'm hammered. I'm hammered. I kill the cheesecake. We put it away. It's gone. It's great. It was awesome. It was so much fucking fun. Good fucking times. Going back, oh, let's say, uh, I was talking to Michelle, talking to Michelle, uh, sitting to Carl and me. Uh, yeah. So, no, it wasn't that one. But uh, keep it up in the comments. Then he had time to suck down three cigarettes. Nah, not really. I only got one. Uh, Michelle says he was kissing on his wife. Yes, I was. And I was slapping her butt. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> she did. She, all right. So, Blue. You No, you don't have to tell me. She <laughs> doesn't have a butt. She never had a butt, right? Never. She had. Huh, she's still on here. You can. She. Oh, no, no, no. This is fine. She'll totally agree. She'll be totally happy with this. I loved her. And fell in love with her because of her eyes, her smile, um, her just hippiness, and her. She's got large tracts of land that helps. Uh, very curvy stems, which I find very sexy. I love. I love the stems. Very curvy stems. Love them. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she didn't have a butt. To even even. I mean, it was just just there was no butt. Just none. It was uh, kind of like, oh, kind of a butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, you know, everything else is amazing. You know, but, but that Beyonce, there was kind of, oh. And now uh, our second child, 
uh, is growing, and all of a sudden, she's got a butt. Oh, yeah, all that, you know, and I'm, I'm not being rude, but all the fat that comes with, you know, making a baby, that's yeah. going to go places. <laughs> Did him with James. James, she didn't get a butt at all. She didn't gain that much weight, and she hasn't gained that much weight now, but the weight she's gained, guess where it's going? Her butt. Her butt. So it's gotta be a girl. It's gotta be a girl. It's gotta be. That's what everybody. You know, it, I can't say because mom, when she was pregnant with both me and Taylor, she said I gave her heartburn because she wanted salty foods, and then Taylor wanted hot foods, so she craved a lot of hot foods. But she said she got bigger boobs when she was pregnant with me, and then a bigger ass when she was pregnant with my brother. Yeah. So I was like. And I've just I've just heard a lot of my f- former pregnant friends when they were pregnant with boys like yeah my ass got big it's like it's got to be a boy. <laughs> uh, all right, well I don't know. I mean, I mean it, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it might be different. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, no. Um, I was supposed to go to a baby shower last weekend and I couldn't make it because I had to work. I My job is I work at least one weekend day, so I work primarily Saturdays and then I get Sundays off. Right. So I get Thursdays and Sundays off and then the rest I'm working uh, from basically 12.30 to 8.30 at night. And it's it's tiring, but it keeps me up. It keeps me busy. And I remember prior to my office job that I was formerly at, I was sitting on my ass all the time and I started to notice my ass was starting to look eh, kind of sad. Yeah. Not like it, not like it used to when I was in the Navy and at other jobs that I was on my feet all the time. This job I've been on my feet. I'll be on my feet like eight hours a day running around doing shit. And I've kind of noticed that my butt is starting to get a little bit lift, just a little bit, not too much. But- <laughs> Just a little bit to where I'm like, I'm, I'm okay with this. Just do a few more squats each night, do some butt exercises, and we'll, we'll call it good. We'll be back like we were back in the Navy days. Right. <laughs> but the Navy days, we had to run up and down stairs and everything else, too. So You earned that butt a little bit, though, right? Yeah. Huh? You earned that butt going up, up and down those gangways or whatever. Those. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Those, those stairs are unforgiving. And I've fallen many a times down those stairs. <laughs> How did you fall? I, I fell one time. I, I, I remember I was at the top of the steps and, I, and my brain, the back of my head was like, you're going to fall. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'll be fine. And I was carrying a bag full of jet fuel bottles that had been tested. And so I was carrying it back down to the bottom of the ship where I was from. And sure enough, my foot slipped. I threw the bag so I wouldn't break the bottles. <laughs> and I just fell down the stairs. Uh, you remember, you know how family guy, whenever they fall, <laughs> they lie on the ground? Mm. That's exactly what I looked like. <laughs> I looked like a sorry hunk of everything. <laughs> But, like, I don't know how you just don't just grab hold and just. I did. That was my usual go to, but I couldn't when I have a bag over my shoulder that I'm carrying and trying to walk down the steps. I couldn't just hold on to one rail and hope I'll slide down. <laughs> but yeah, my go to was either grab the, the bar that was above the ladder well or grab the handrails on the ladder well and just slip, zip on down. Gotcha. But. When my family visited, they uh, they were not happy with the tight crampness and whatnot. <laughs> Weird. Eh, it happens. No. Oh, yeah. It was good times. Good times. So I'm hoping to get that butt back. You'll get it back. As soon as you have a girl, you'll get it back. Shit. No, I'm jinx me just yet. <laughs> no, I'm jinx me just yet. I can't have a... I, I'd rather deal with a boy. I can't have another me. You say that, and I'll tell you this much. Uh, as long as you're prepared for a lot of shit getting destroyed and broken, and yeah. the most common word you're going to hear for six months is no. Yeah. That's a boy. Yeah, no, because my brother, 
when he was younger, he killed. You remember the Giga Pets, like the little the little keychains that you could control, like a dog or a cat with back right. in the 90s. I had one. And in fact, Taylor and I both had one. And then one day I come home and my Giga Pet was dead. And I was like, what happened to my Giga Pet? And Taylor's like, oh, I gave him milk. I'm like, what do you mean you gave him milk? <laughs> He legit said, well, your gigapet was hungry, so I took a cup of milk and gave it to him. <laughs> and I was so angry at my brother. And then he would steal my Beanie Babies. He would steal my, my Pokemon cards, my Tamagotchis, my Furby he stole one time. So my mom legit got us these little plastic safes that we had our own little combo locks on. <laughs> So that Taylor wouldn't get in my shit no more. <laughs> I'm trying to call the one, the only. Who? Tim? Nah. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. You know, let's call Tim. Fuck let's it. See what happens. Uh, uh, FaceTime audio? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Is he answering? Nope. <laughs> it's drunk. <laughs> He's done. He's done. Jason said that as soon as I handed Jason the phone while I was going away, and he said that as soon as he got on, Tim was like, boop, and just disappeared. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Come on, bro. What? You're killing me, Smalls. So, uh, there was something I saw, a meme. Pretty funny. Uh, apparently, even Star Wars uh, had a PG-13 rating where they could give a fuck. Uh, yeah. Did you see that meme? No, I ha I haven't. So it was uh, Anakin walking into the uh, younglings. Oh God! And the younglings said, "Oh fuck!" And I thought that was great. That was fucking hilarious. Like, yeah, those they're gonna smoke, but they knew it. Like, oh fuck! I remember no, why they didn't run. They stood and fight like idiots. But whatever. So, I remember when we first saw that movie, Mom, she cried. Because she was like, it's like watching the Titanic. You know it's going to sink, but you don't want it to. You know this little bastard's going to turn into Darth Vader, and you don't want him to. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest way she put it. She was like, this little bastard, I wanted to be good. <laughs> I was like, technically, he was good in episode uh, six. Saved Luke. <laughs> yeah, he was absolutely for sure. Yeah. I was like, he was technically a good guy. He saved Luke. <laughs> God, that you know, said that too. The whole thing blows my mind, but I really had a tiny spot. Michelle says, "My wife, she did." Her, her saying she had tiny spot was is cute. Oh no, trust me, I've seen some sad asses. Like some girls were like, I got an ass. And it's like, well, you got something, but it's not ass. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> it's like when I hear the um the Anaconda song by Nicki Minaj. It's like, you know her ass is fake. And she's like and she's like, I got a fat ass. It's like, but you didn't earn that ass. You paid for that ass. Yeah, you took your fucking miss session and had it Ugh. injected in your ass. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's like, you know, women they don't they want that. And it's like, you know, there are ways of getting it. It takes a little time and but it's safer and it's not as, you know, you're gonna sit one way and your cheek is gonna roll to the other side. Cool. So there's ways of going about. 
Hey, a lot of men are <laughs> hate talking uh, 710 because uh, he's doing it the right way. Hey, thanks. <laughs> They're going to hate him. He's doing great. She, she was a catcher, and now he's she's gone. She's, she's gone. <laughs> no, that was a fun night at that party. That was way too much fun. They shouldn't have even allowed that. <laughs> You but you know what's great though is that nobody got into any fights. No, nobody no. got. Everybody was drunk, but nobody got into any fights. Nope. That's I what I always tell people. Like it's insane. You think we're a bunch of batshit crazy people, but I mean, it we are ish a bit. But <laughs> put us together. Uh, we're, we're not okay. that bad. We're okay, we're, we're we're good. We, we just. We don't relish in our stories. No matter how yeah. stupid and irrelevant they are, we just want to relish in those stories because they're the thing that means so much to us. Well, it's kind of it's kind of great, but at the same time, when you get people that are like, "Well, you weren't in combat," blah blah blah. It's like nah. you know, you don't have to be in combat to necessarily lose your sanity to a stent. No, right? It's no. like okay, but. Some of us had our own fair shares of difficulties. Was it as bad as yours? It's not a pissing contest. We nobody's better than the other. Nobody's had it. Nobody's had it worse than the other. Everybody's had their own struggles. We don't need to measure it. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes that is a thing in the Marine Corps or the venture community as a whole. It's like, oh, you're a po. You don't do shit. Like, well, you remember the dysfunctional yeah. veteran family. That's yeah, I was part of that. No. I left it because of that. People basically began to measure what you were worth by your trauma. It's like, we shouldn't be doing that. This is not what we're doing here for. Yeah, it's not what we're here. Yeah. And then on top of that, they were chastising, you know, civilians for not understanding us. It's like, it just got to a point where I was like, well, we have to build that bridge then if we need, if we want people to understand us and not. And you're deal with the bad light. Like literally blowing that bridge up between civilians. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's why we all went too. That's what became. That was the start of VRS with Dan and me and Proby. Started yeah. VRS. Yeah, yeah. It it just got to a point where we shouldn't have to downsize somebody else's service or anything else. You know, I. Some people they get out for ridiculous reasons. Sure. But and I've heard I've heard some funny ass stories. Like what was that girl's name? She used to. She didn't even get out of boot camp. She um. I can't remember what her name was. I'm curious now. I think it was like Tristan or something like that. I don't remember. But anyways, it it kind of bothered me because she was dating one of my former friends. Mm. He has PTSD. He's a Marine. He was a minesweeper pretty much. And she was like, how do you deal with, with PTSD? Cause I was married with my ex-husband at the time. It's like, you know, I don't understand it, but I find ways of coping with it, with him. You know, I've got my own demons to shoulder and he's putting his on mine. Yeah. So Michelle does a lot. She makes me like, she locks me out on shit. She makes me, Hey, what do you see? I'm like, oh, that's you yeah, know, a that that's the stoplight. She says, well, what is it though? I, well, it's red. We can't go. She goes, all right, continue. What's on left of you? Well, that's the uh, um, the um, Catholic school. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there's a tree there. Uh, well, what's the tree? Oh, it's an oak tree. She says, okay, we're moving. What do you see now? All right, well, it, it, the Garden Angels is on our left. That's where we're going to send our kid. You know, that's where we put James in school. So they keep going. And she keeps doing it, keeps doing it, keeps doing it. And Yeah, it's a distraction. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with, with Eric, it was more of conversing and then, you know, make I would poke jokes and he was like, you don't take this serious. I'm like, no, I'm trying to preoccupy your mind with something else. I'm also trying to trick you a little bit. Yeah, well, that too. A, a little bit. Like, there are times. It's, a big, other... it, it's a hard thing to do. Like I know Michelle struggled with it with me. 
like how do you get a guy to not be a dick about when you trigger her? Because she does it. She does it for fun. Like, not for fun, but it's needed to be done. Mm. And she said, like, all right, hey, we're going to go out and do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And we do, but, you know, it is what it is. But she acknowledges, yeah, you're going you're gonna to feel threatened or whatever at this point. And I'm fine. All right, fine. You tell me I'm good. I'm good. And we had a great time today with, I had my brother-in-law, his daughter, and his two twins. And guess who was the star of the party tonight? Carl. Oh, boy. Carl. <laughs> they all adored him. The twins were hanging over him and pulling his ears and doing everything. And they're like, oh, no, stop, 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 stop. Like, no, look, if he lets them do that, you're good. Yeah, and but you also got to be careful with the dog. You know, I'm not trying to say he would snap, but he was amazing with them. I mean, he was just like, mm, like okay, <laughs> pull my ears, but if you pull my ears, I'm gonna get your. He did something. I'm gonna get your your your, uh, your toy. And he, <clears throat> he got this uh. <laughs> all it and made it, all of them, all of them. The twins and Molly come and try to take the stuffed toy from him. And he was <laughs> Carl's just being Carl. He's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and they took it. And he looked at me like, I'm like, yeah, dude, you good job. Like, no worries. <laughs> it's so funny. So, um, What do you want to do with the bar going forward? Because we, we've talked about cutting the means to, let's say, at least 10. I like I like doing like the Never Have Ever, which I think you can lead that for me. Never Have Ever done things. We have to turn <laughs> that. There's not, of, me and you. there's not a lot of things I haven't done. I know, but it'd be really fun for me and you to do that. Like, we'll just leave that thing. But yeah, we can do that. But uh, other, uh, you know, truth or dare, other things. Yeah, like we'd have to cut the memes a bit because they yeah. do. They do cut into some time. And good night, Michelle. And um, they do cut into some time. And then, of course, if we get some members who are drunk, then it kind of drags for a bit sure um but yeah we could do 